Hello everybody, we're back here on the Moose Grind. Let's see how today ends up going. We are way past the average kill count for a uh, Great One Moose to spawn, so... I feel like at this point we gotta be almost there, right? He's gotta show up soon! Let's hope it's today. If not today, then hopefully tomorrow after the update drops. Well, let's just get ourselves a gorgeous Great One Moose, eh? Hey Ender, how's it going, dude? Hey Dusky, uh, Savage, Bebop, Jake, Anna, B, Salatino, AJ, Coins, um, who else we got in here? Toast for Puppy, we got Trick Flow, Fisherman Joe, Trevin, Logan, Mr. Schrader, Brody, uh, Dear People, Eric, how's everybody doing? Sorry if I missed a few of you, but the, the chat's going pretty quickly, so I was just reading what I could. Let's see if we can get a giant today. I'm hoping we at least get a diamond. We got trolled six times in four hours during yesterday's stream for those that were not there. It was bad. Like, six troll level fives in four hours? To even get that many fives in four hours is pretty wild. But for them to all troll? Even crazier. Like, yesterday was just something else. Plus, we did get that level three pie ball, so that was the, the highlight of the stream, definitely. And I need to adjust a little bit of the volume here. There, had to reduce the, uh, the volume of the audio because I felt like the music was a little bit louder than it usually is. Great one, first like. Oh, I hope so, RT. Sure hope so. Though I am not counting on it, that's for sure. You should grind that. That's what we're doing, Logan. We are grinding and grinding. For those uh, wondering, yes, we are on the live build. We are not on the uh, early access. But uh, very, very soon we will be getting this. Uh, we will be getting the uh, new weapon pack and the update on the live servers. So we don't have too much longer to wait. In fact, it'll be exactly like 12 hours from now. So that's pretty crazy. Very close to uh, when we're getting that beautiful, beautiful update. To be honest, out of everything in the update, I think I'm most excited about uh, loadouts and the spook range changes. I think that is going to be the uh, the biggest game changes for me. The weapon pack is cool, but unfortunately the 338 was just not as good as I was hoping it would be. So definitely think loadouts have taken the shine as well as the uh, the spook range for me. Will it release midnight for the update? Not usually. It's typically like 2.30 or 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Which would be um, like 5.30 a.m. Eastern Time, you know? Nice, Ben. That's awesome. Get that level 5, dude. Get that level 5. There is that dude there. And then we got one over there. We've been getting a lower amount of males at this lake recently. It's kind of been fluctuating back and forth. Hey, Clay, Drew, how's it going? Hope you're doing good, man. There's the mail. He kind of moved out. There we go. Come on, Moosey. What about this guy? Nice, dear people. Nice. Hey, JJ, how's it going, dude? How you doing, CJO? Congrats on your great one, man. Let's hope that we got a great one in store for us today as well. 276. Nice, Ben. That's awesome, man. That is awesome. That's a decent little level three. Honestly, not bad for a three. And he's going to go down as well. Can we make the shot on this one? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, it's been a very long time, CJO. We are approaching 3,000 kills since our uh, last great one for uh, Moose. And honestly, that is above the average kill count for Moose. So we're not doing so hot. It's got to be soon. We got to have him show up soon. Like... We're getting to that point where it's like, how much longer could we go without him? 
That one only took you 420? Wow. That's crazy. That is pretty wild, man. Maybe it's a good one then? I hope. Hey, no, I'm doing good. Hope you're doing good as well, man. There's that little feller. I don't think we got a good shot on this one. No, he definitely didn't, so not even worth going over there. Now, 200 kills into yours. Already got a bunch of fives to shoot. Nice, Raider. Nice. Hey, Wyatt, how's it going? I swear to God, Clay Drew, if I get a common quad paddle after all this, I'm going to cry. <laughs> you guys will see a grown man cry on stream over a pixel if I get another common quad paddle. <laughs> oh, man. I swear if we get another common quad paddle, that'll be the worst thing that could have happened. Did we drop one of them? I feel like we hard shot one over here, didn't we? Maybe. Oh yeah, right there. And then our doggo's got the other one. Oh, we just started, Blake. We've killed like three moose so far. Spot him a quad paddle? No, please, no. Oh yeah, I'll be honest, I'm okay with a quad paddle if it's got a fur variation on it. Unless it's Fabled Ashen, because that looks very similar to Common, so I don't know. But if I if I get any other fur type with a uh, with a quad paddle, I wouldn't mind it. It's just not my first choice. But you know, with the great ones, you can't really be picky. You kind of just got to be happy with whatever you get. And that is exactly what we will do. Killed a 272 level 4 moose. Nice, William. So close to diamond. Yeah, I do like the way that looks, uh, Clay Drew. Um, CJO's looks pretty good. That's, that's kind of what I was saying. Like, as long as it's not a common fur type, the quad paddle isn't terrible. Um, but when it's, when it's a common quad paddle, oh my. Just, no. Common quad paddles should not be a thing. Commons should have never been a thing for the Great One Moose. I've heard a few people in chat telling me that they heard that there wouldn't be uh, common furs anymore for the moose, but they can they, they never said where they heard that from, so I don't know if it's true. I'm going to assume it's not until I can actually get some confirmation. But there was a few people in the... Uh, in the Fabled Ones uh, channel in the official Discord that were saying that, but I have not heard anything in the uh, regard to that, so it's hard to say. Took him at the 12 gauge. Yeah, I saw. I watched the uh, replay of it. Crazy, dude. Crazy. I'm telling you, like, using a 12 gauge of, like, any kind, like, any of the ammo types on a, uh, a, dime, or a diamond or a great one... It's always so sketchy. Like, I used Buckshot on one of my uh, Big Rack Whitetail, and it was the most sketchy thing I've ever done. It scared me so bad. I can imagine using the Slug on a Moose is probably the same thing. Probably super scary and sketchy. Yeah, they definitely are more reliable, but Moose are also a lot bigger, uh, Kian, so it still scares you. Like, they still die slow. It's not necessarily the uh, the reliability that scares you with the, the 12 gauge slugs, it's the fact that they still die slow, so you think you missed it. Can use the crossbow or the 454 on mine. Nice trader, that's awesome. That should be a pretty good uh, option. I used the crossbow on my really cool like 50-50 rack whitetail. And it was uh, pretty fun. Dropped him on the spot as well. The crossbow is a beast. Hey, Deer Killer, nothing crazy yet. We pretty much just started like 15 minutes ago. Maybe actually 10 minutes ago even. Haven't been live for too long. Two males over there this time. Nice, nice. Second one did not hit the heart. Not gonna lie, it kind of looked good, but I guess it was just barely off. Just like that, what is he doing? 
<laughs> that moose was not exactly sure what he was going to do. Nice, Brennan. That's awesome, dude. That is super awesome. Should make a great one go aggressive. Oh, make one go aggressive just like in general. Gotcha. Maybe. I mean, when you're hunting moose like I am, when you're grinding them heavily, you're going to get some to attack at some point. I've had so many uh, moose go aggressive on me during this grind. Would not be surprised if it does happen during this stream as well. Uh, yeah, dear people, I've played American Marksman. I've got like three or four videos of it on the channel. Um, once we kind of get past the whole update hype for Call of the Wild, we'll return to recording American Marksman as well. There we go. We got to go check this lake. This is usually a pretty good one. And honestly, we might want to make a trek down to this guy as well because... That's a lake that I haven't gone to in a few hundred kills, so there's a good chance one could have ended up there. Also, today we gotta find a way to... or not a way, but we need to find a place to put a couple of our tents. We've got two tents that we can place down somewhere because one of my zones stopped getting mails. So we gotta move it around and find a new place. Thank you, Lane. Hopefully we will. Hopefully you get yours too. I'm hoping that if we get a great one to spawn, not gonna lie, like the, you, you see the one on the thumbnail, that combination of like the two-tone with the typical rack, that's one of my dream combinations. My other dream combination would be Fabled Birch with that rack. That is like the two that I really want and really hope to see one of these days. It would just be a dream come true. Curious, could we maybe set this up a little bit differently? I don't really think there's any place where we can see both of these from a tent that'll make sense. I don't know. We're gonna move down and see if we can find uh, something down here, and then we'll we'll figure out where to put these other tents. Thinking we might have to take a little bit of a walk around the map and find a new area. To start grinding. There's got to be another area that's got multiple males that we could use. There's a male. He's nervous though. Beautiful. What's moose drink time on Medved? It is 12 to 16, I believe. And that goes for all maps as well. Not just this one. Nice, Clay Drew. Nice. I didn't know how many kills you have on a grind. You count them, uh, Peyton. That's the only way to know. Just keeping track of it. What I do is I, I measure how many I can kill per hour, and then depending on how many hours I played is how I determine how many I've killed. And then on some days, if I didn't find as many as normal, I'll subtract a little bit from that average. And so any of the kill counts that I do is just estimated. How long will the stream be? Most likely three to four hours like yesterday. Oh, <laughs> look at that little guy. We do have a straggler that randomly ended up here. Get ready on that heart shot. Boom. And down he goes. Question is, what do we do here in terms of tent? Could we place one here? Should we? I don't really know. I'm thinking that since it's just an occasional straggler that ends up here, it's probably not worth putting a tent here. Especially when we really only need to go down here like once every five or six runs, just to check. Um, I don't think we'll ever do that, Wyatt. I, I don't really want to like make promises this early on, right? We're still really far away from a million, so I'm not going to make a promise that probably wouldn't happen for a few years, right? The, the chances of me remembering that at that point would be very slim because that's a long time to wait. That is a very, very long time. Uh, we could maybe set up on this lake here. This is where I've got my uh, pet piebald. 
that we actually still need to name. I forgot, like a couple streams ago, I said I would show it to you guys. We've got a little pet piebald, like uh, like Lucky on the Whitetail grind for Layton. How's the grind going? It's going good, Kevin. Going pretty good. Yesterday, we had a lot of fives showing up, six of them, but they all trolled. So it's been a very, uh, a very back and forth couple days of grinding. Today, we've pretty much just started out less than half an hour ago, so we haven't really shot too much. Just kind of getting in the groove of everything. Hey, Megan, you didn't miss anything. We're actually about to go take a look at a pie ball that I've got on the map. Bruce the Spruce Moose. That's amazing, Eric. Nice, Ben. That's awesome. That is a huge albino, dude. I need a big albino. Like, uh, all my big rare moose are piebald and mella. I don't have a single large albino. I think my best was like a really tiny four. Like, about as small as a four can get. Hey, cat. Nothing too crazy yet. We've only shot a few moose. All of them have been, you know, average size. Rev moose going off? It seems so, Ben. Honestly, part of me wants to do a uh, Rev Moose grind at some point. Just to kind of switch things up a little bit. Because we've done a lot of grinding on Medved. And uh, though I love it and it's a lot of fun, I can definitely, uh, definitely uh, see taking the grind to a different map at some point being a good change of pace. As uh, <laughs> Medved kind of all looks the same. It's like we're just constantly looking at snow. But, you know, at the same time, I love Medved. It's really fun for Moose. So this is an area where we usually have a few males. I'm thinking of setting up near here. The only problem is I don't know the perfect angle to uh, approach this at. I'm thinking we could set up, like, right here. There we go. Let's say let's uh, switch the time real quick and see where they're even located on the lake. Yeah, the 300 Magnum is really good. Phenomenal rifle. So that's a three there. I don't see our little piebald guy. And I also don't see the rest of the herd that's usually here. I guess I actually might be too close. Let's back up. Yeah, apparently, Bebop. That, that, would definitely, uh, that would definitely be great. Actually, most of yesterday, I was uh, outside with my family. Yeah, Clay, you're understandable. No, Nicholas, I'm not going to be using the 338 for the moose grind. To be honest, it's not very good on them. It has issues with penetration. It also has more bullet drop than the 300. So if you're doing a moose grind and you go for a lot of hard shots, that's obviously like really big problems for the gun to have. So I am definitely going to stick with the 300 for moose grinding. Although I might make the 338 my secondary weapon for the moose grind to take pop shots at the ones that are running away. Yeah, it's pretty sad, uh, Key, and I really wish it was better. Really, the only thing the 338 has right now that the uh, 300 doesn't is a five-round magazine. The 300 is better in pretty much every other way. The thing is, like, if you get double lung with the 338, it is a little bit better, but it has less penetration, so it uh, it's hard to even get that double lung on most of the big things like bison, cape buffalo, moose. So I definitely think it's going to be a situational rifle. It'll be useful in some ways, but not a lot. Should you get the new weapon pack? Um, if you want to, Thomas. I would say that... If anything, get it for the 7mm. The 7mm is really good. 
That is the one gun in the pack where I can say, like, it, it's going to be a top three rifle for me. Seven mil is definitely going to be one of my favorites. By Hunt IRL? Yes, I do, Mason. I haven't been able to in recent years, but I, I did a lot of it growing up. All right, let's flop this tent over here if we can. This is the moose zone that I want to be able to see good. Need to stay far enough away to where it's not going to prevent them from rendering in. So I'm thinking right here might be good. And it's hard to say if this is even going to be a permanent zone that we grind. We might end up just making it one that we hunt for a little bit to see how reliable the respawns are. And then if they're reliable, we'll keep it. If they're not reliable, then we'll start hunting other areas. But we won't be able to figure it out if we don't try it, right? Hey, Jennifer, 156.22. Nice. That's a big cape. Best weapon, non-DLC. The best non-DLC weapon is probably the 7mm. It's extremely versatile. And just an amazing rifle in general. 7mm single shot, that is. Another good option when you have the base game and none of the DLCs is for small game you definitely want to be using like the 243. 243 is really good. Oh hey buddy. Okay we do have two males here. Nice. Um, Let's go ahead and get a stand set up. Actually let's keep the tents on us because I still got to set up a claiming tent over here. Let's just bop that guy real quickly. I'm only going to shoot one for now because I need to see how big the herd size is. Is this a herd of five or is it a herd of three with two solos? Got to make sure that we know exactly what the herd size is like or else we could delete a zone. Is there going to be any good weapons that come with the new pack? Yes, Megatron. The 7mm is really good. Um, 338 is kind of mediocre. It's middle of the road. It could be good in some situations but not great in others. Uh, 308 is, I mean, it's just the 308 AR, but bolt action, you know? It'll be a good round, but it does fire quite slow compared to the AR, which is to be expected. It's more just for those that want a more traditional 308 rifle. How do you prevent deleting zones? Best way to do that is a few different things, actually. Uh, use stands so that you create less hunting pressure. And just in general, watch the hunting pressure you're creating to make sure that it's not uh, getting too bright pink. If you're not using a stand, you can only shoot three animals. The fourth one will delete the zone. If you're in a stand, then you can shoot up to 15 with the 16th deleting the zone. So that's like a huge thing. Using stands as much as you can and watching your hunting pressure. Um, another tip to not delete a zone is to never overshoot it. So if you have, let's say, five moose in a zone... Never shoot four of those five, because if you were to shoot four of the five, none of them would respawn in the same place that you just shot them. They would move to a new area. Nobody knows why that happens, but if you leave just one animal in a zone, it just never repopulates. And then another thing is, don't shoot every animal in a zone. If you shoot every animal in a zone, then it will delete that zone because there's no animals left to repopulate it, I guess. Nobody really knows, like, the reasoning, but that seems to be a common thing. Uh-oh. We hit that female. We cannot let her die. That is a big no-no. That's another thing. Don't shoot the females. Because uh, I've had many times where they formed brand new herds just because I accidentally shot a female. So try your best not to shoot females in your favorite zones. It can cause a lot of problems. There was one time on the whitetail grind where I shot myself two of the bucks, right? And I accidentally shot a female. And that female and two of the bucks formed together to create a brand new zone or a brand new herd in one of my zones. So next thing you know, I had an extra herd in one of my grinding zones and I couldn't figure out like what deer were from what herd. And it made it really hard to choose like what I was going to shoot to not overshoot a specific herd because they were mixed, right? So I could very easily shoot all the bucks in a herd and not even notice. 
But yeah, just try not to shoot the females if you can. Barely a little bit far back, I think. Really close, but didn't quite get the heart. We're just getting started, though. We're still warming up a little bit. We'll get into the groove. I have a great one, but he glitches as a piebald somehow. Yeah, that's a known issue, uh, Big Blue Beast. If you have a great one moose with a special fur type, like one of the fabled fur types, it will show up as the improper fur type in the lodge a lot of the time. That is, I believe, going to be fixed with this next update, so... Soon it should be good. Hey, Caitlin, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Can you ride a snowmobile where you live? No, not really, Thomas. I mean, there's some places in Oregon where you can ride a snowmobile, I guess. Mainly in, like, the, the higher mountainous parts. Also, guys, I got a question for y'all because I'm really curious. What do you think of the new thumbnail style? I really like the the whole uh, style I've been going for recently. Getting rid of the, like, green and black border from the thumbnails and uh, changing the font style I use and the text color as well. I feel like it just fits the channel a lot better. I feel like it just looks better in general. And it, it, like I said, it fits what I do here a little bit more. I've also been trying to, like, uh, make the, the thumbnails a little bit more fancy looking with the, uh, like, pretty skies on all the thumbnails. Believe it or not, that's actually a tool on, uh, Photoshop where you can, um, essentially, like, replace the, uh, the sky with a sky of your choosing. You can even upload custom images of, like, pictures of skies that you've taken, and you can implement them into the thumbnails. So, I've been trying that out, and I think it looks really good. All right, awesome, guys. Glad to see that it seems like all of you like it as well. That's really cool to see. Nice, Star Wars. That's awesome, dude. Drippy Crow. Oh, yeah, that's that's all we're doing. That's all we'd be doing here. What are the rules for the chat? Uh, could one of the moderators or members bring them up? Thank you, CJO. I've been liking the thumbnails you do as well. Whenever I see your thumbnails, I'm like, wow, that is... It, it, it's so seamless. They always look so seamless. They don't even look like any of the uh, the stuff's like cut out, right? It looks like it's a part of the image. Oh. Did not hit him in the heart. He'll definitely die, though. No way he doesn't. Playing the missions on Medved can't find the wounded reindeer mission. Do you have any tips? Um, I haven't done a lot of the missions, uh, Kaysen. I think I remember that one, but I was playing it like a really long time ago when Med when Medved first released. Yeah, no problem, CJO. Definitely, Eric, they definitely are. Uh, it's got a lot more Star Wars. It doesn't update, like, from when you click on it. A lot of times, YouTube doesn't update any of the, uh, the stats from the stream until you refresh the page. Yeah, Eli, I am. I do live in Oregon. Grab that little guy. Let's see what type of numbers we can put up today for the moose. Yesterday, we were going really quick with the grind. We were... We easily hit like 200 kills yesterday in four hours, which is honestly numbers I never would have expected to hit with Moose. We used to not get anywhere near that, but with the, the recent changes we made to our whole like setup on Medved, it's really helped with the speed we've been able to run through everything. Nothing yet, Pancake. No great one yet, but the day is still young. We will hopefully get it by the end of it. And if we don't, maybe during the 12 hour stream tomorrow, or 10 hour, however long we make it. Like I said, it's gonna depend on, um, a lot of it's gonna depend on my daughter, right? Depend on when she gets tired, um, if she's behaving for mom, you know? <laughs> if, uh, 
Depending on how things go, we might end an hour or two early, so we'll see. But we're going to be starting the stream tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So stay tuned for that. We're going to try and go as long as we possibly can. Going to be doing a lot of grinding. How many kills am I at now? We're currently at 2,900, which is a lot for a moose. That's a lot of kills without a great one moose. Oh, no worries, Pancake. No worries. That is totally under... That's a five. Is that the troll rack again? <sighs> Bro, why? <laughs> the, the bad luck continues. That's definitely the troll rack. Uh, wow. Hey, Kaluk, how's it going? Guys, what do we even do at this point? We're getting... We're definitely getting more fives than normal but th none of them are diamonds i don't think i've killed a diamond in like four or five hundred kills because every five we've seen has been a troll and i'm 99 percent sure this guy's a troll as well gosh this is almost this this brings me back to when we killed 21 level five um feral goats in a row that trolled we had 21 trolls in a row for the feral goats a little bit after the tiawaroa release and getting that diamond was like the best feeling in the world after 21 trolls. I hope we don't get 21 troll moose. It's really feeling like we might at this point. 234? I think we can hit this. Oh, not if he's going to do that. I mean, honestly, those brows do look a little bit bigger. I think, I think that might have one more time than most of the trolls that had this rack. We'll see. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm uh, just seeing things, but... I don't know, that one may, That one might look a little bit bigger. Same rack as your 276, so you're saying it's got a chance, Ben. <laughs> they are being rude, Megatron. They're being rude. Hey, Mason, thank you, dude. Hope you're doing well. Come on, Mr. Moose. Don't do this to us. Don't be another troll. I am tired of getting trolls. This one looks bigger. Fingers crossed that I'm not just seeing things. I think he's bigger. I think this might make it. Oh my gosh, it made it! Finally! Let's go! He actually made it. Wow. That is the happiest I've ever been to see a diamond moose, not gonna lie. <laughs> that, that is so nice to see. Wow. I'm taxing him just because it's been... This is like seven since our last. This would be the seventh uh, five we've gotten the last two days, and he's the only one that made diamond. We had six trolls in a row yesterday. Six trolls in a row? Oh my, I can't even speak. Six trolls in a row yesterday. And uh, first level five we get today is a diamond finally. Oh, that felt good. That, that felt real good. Beautiful. It feels nice to be able to finally add another diamond to the diamond counter. It's It's been a while. It has been a while. Now let's see where this other one ended up running off to. We got the uh, good luck going now. We got our first diamond of the day. Let's hope that we can continue that streak and get some more big males. Just so nice to see one. Yeah, indeed, Ben. You got a 295 earlier, Tony? That is insane, man. What's the most disappointing thing that's happened to me in this game? I don't know. Probably the troll level 3 melanistic whitetail. I had a troll level 3 mellow whitetail that was 0 .03 off of diamond. And it was a rack that rarely trolls. That made it even worse. That's got to be my most disappointing moment in this game ever. Diamond this run, great one next run. We'll see, dude. We will see. Always a chance. It's been a while. Been a while since we've seen a great one. Ooh, feels bad. He moved right as I shot, so we ended up missing. No. 
That's unfortunate. Gotta love it when they move immediately. Uh, yeah, Danny, there is. There is a video on the channel of the, uh, Troll Mella. Saddest moment of my Call of the Wild career. Nice, King Charles. I'm glad that you're enjoying it, dude. It's a fun game. Gotta go. Hope you have an awesome rest of the stream. Thank you, Star Wars. Thank you for being here, as always. Hey, Dusty, I'm using the 300 Magnum. It comes with the Yukon Valley DLC. It is a very awesome gun for big game. All right, Danny, let me know if you enjoy it, man. Should be able to find it just by typing in a uh, scarecrow melanistic whitetail. Should bring it up. Where did this thing go? I don't actually know where this guy went. I saw the blood back there. I probably should have grabbed it. Let's just get the dog on his trail. How to get the free lodge? You gotta wait for the update to hit, that's how. Once the update drops that has the free lodge, you will be able to find it in the list of lodges just like any other lodge. The only catch with this free lodge is you can only make one of them. Unlike the paid lodges where you can make five. There's our little moosey right there. Also, as you guys can see, I, I spent a lot of money on ammo. I decided to buy clear up to 3,000 rounds because we're going to need them. It, it was expensive, but <laughs> it'll be worth it because I won't have to continuously buy ammo every stream. Now, let's see if we can track these bad boys down. We got at least two of them in the vitals. I think there was blood right back here. There we go. How much money do I have? Right now, 12.7 million. I had 13 point... I think it was like 13 million 50 thousand, and then I bought a ton of ammo. You got a level 5 blacktail on your map, Caitlin? That is amazing. Level 5 blacktail always looks so good. I'm assuming you're gonna probably save that for your stream, right? Great one at 3.1k kills. I'd be okay with that, uh, Drawn. That, that wouldn't be too bad. That would mean that we could get it today or maybe tomorrow if that's the case. So I hope you're right. I would not mind uh, seeing it pop up in another 200 kills or so. Definitely wouldn't be the worst that could happen there. Oh, gotcha, Caitlin. Nice, nice. Uh, it's the same as what you see in here, Destiny. It's the uh, the same account that she uses in the uh, chat. If you guys enjoy like uh, bear grinding and stuff, Caitlin does streams on uh, black bear grinding quite a bit. One of one of the few people that actually does the bear grind because it's just such a brutal grind. I don't know how she does it. What's your favorite animal to shoot? Favorite animal to shoot is the white tail. Honestly, though, moose are growing on me more and more every day. Uh, they are quite satisfying to hunt, especially if you can get those hard shots. Yeah, no problem, Caitlin. What is the best map for the black bear? Uh, definitely Silver Ridge Peaks. It's so good for black bear. I haven't really tested out Leighton Lakes, but I know for a fact Silver Ridge is really good. And Mississippi is kind of mediocre for bears. I mean, less than mediocre, to be honest. Really hoping that this update will kind of change uh, the way the bears work a little bit. We did very minimal testing on, like, the time frames that they were making it to need zones. And while it definitely felt a little bit better, it wasn't super noticeable. But I'm hoping maybe on, like, Layton or Mississippi it'll be more noticeable. 
Come on, give us a great one. That's not a great one, but it's a four. Apparently he didn't hear that. Oh, <laughs> sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I'm just trying to alert this guy. I didn't mean to shoot you. That might be the most rude thing I've ever done in Call of the Wild. I just shot her right in the back hip. I think it was the hip. Hit her somewhere. Boom, there we go. Nice, Ben, nice. Uh, 12 hour stream is tomorrow, Logan, but again, I can't promise it'll be exactly 12 hours. And a lot of it depends on, um, on my daughter, right? I'll try to go for as long as I can, but there's a chance it'll be a little bit shorter than 12 hours, but the one thing I can guarantee is at least eight hours, probably 10 plus. But we'll try our best to make it the full 12. It's going to be uh, fun because tomorrow is the release day for the update. And it'll be the uh, introduction of the spook, spook range changes into the uh, live build. So it's going to make the grind a lot easier, I think. Come on, Mr. Moose. Because you know, when I think of it, I don't believe we've ever been able to grind for a Great One Moose with the old Spook Range. I'm pretty sure that they did the Spook Range changes with the Moose Great One update, right? If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure they came out in the same update. Which is honestly going to make this even more interesting, getting to... Kind of redo some of the setups for Moose to uh, fit the new spook range a little bit better. Did that get his attention? No, it didn't. There we go. Oh no, I hit him twice. I, I just wanted that guy. Come on, stop running. Oh, there we go. He stopped running. Perfect. Oh, he's satisfying when they just stop like that. Do I know a good money grinding map? Um, Lions on Verhonga is really good. I, I definitely recommend that if you have Silver Ridge and Verhonga and Medved. I would say that, yeah, Verhonga Lions is probably one of your best options. Just set the time to around 12 o'clock and then go to the lake... Uh, to the left of the starting outpost, it's the, the big lake on the left of Verhonga. That lake is loaded with lions, and no matter how much hunting pressure you add there, they always go back to that lake, so it's a really good lake for grinding money. Did I claim both of the ones that we downed over here? I must have, because I don't see anything. Yeah, Axolot, it's really good. That lake is such a good lion hunting lake. And if you have something like the 7mm, 338, 300 Magnum, like any of those guns, which uh, I think you wouldn't have 300 because you didn't say you had Yukon. So if you take like the 338 or the 7mm and just uh, blast lions from like over 200 meters, they typically don't spook very far. Lions have some kind of a bug where when you shoot them, all the lions that get spooked from the gunshot kind of just run back and forth and then stop completely. So they are so good for money no matter what gun you have available to you. Glad you like it, uh, Axelot. Glad you like it. <laughs> Yeah, no problem, Eric. I figured it would be a good video to make just because there's a lot of people that want to know how to hit the hard shots more consistently on a moose grind. That is one of the questions I get a lot, is how to reliably hit the hard shots to speed the grind up. Because when you're hitting hard shots, it really does make things go by quicker. Because if you're dropping the animals on the spot and don't have to track them, then that saves a lot of time. So I figured it'd be a good video to make. And I didn't have a video ready for today, so I figured we might as well do that as a video. 
Oh, and also, guys, uh, those of you that were in yesterday's stream might have heard me mention that I was going to do a collaboration with DD33. Unfortunately, he didn't get um, to sleep at, like, a good time last night, and so we're having to reschedule. But it will still happen at some point, but it's not going to be tomorrow's video. We had to reschedule things that will uh, fit our schedules a bit more. It'll still happen. Probably just going to be a little bit later. How many diamonds do I have? 2,172. Approximately. What is my least favorite gun? Um... 223 bolt action. It's uh, pretty atrocious. Tomorrow's your birthday. Nice, Walrus. Happy early birthday, dude. Happy early birthday, man. Hello, little feller. Beautiful. Got him. What's my favorite great one? My favorite great one is the moose. The moose is my favorite with white tail right behind it. Uh, to be honest, my favorite probably would be the red deer if they had more fur types and more rack variations. But currently, red deer have four rack variations and only one fur type they can get, which kind of limits the amount of possibilities whenever you're grinding them. And in my opinion, that's not a good thing for a great one to be super limited. At least with the whitetail, though, you only have one common fur type and then obviously the fabled one. Like the fabled uh, piebald and then the other rares are possible, but they're so unlikely to happen that most of the time people don't even consider them as options. But like at least the whitetail has six different antler variations and the possibility of those ultra rares. But the red deer, it's one fur variation, no rares available, and uh, four rack variations that look very similar to each other. But I think that's why red deer have kind of gone down in my list of like great ones that I like. It's unfortunate, because I, I love red deer. And I wish there was a little bit more variety there. Uh, yeah, Megatron. So far with the Whitetail, the only rares we know of is the Albino, the Albino uh, Great One Whitetail that LC killed, and then a couple people on console have killed Fabled Piebalds, like in the first year of the existence of the Great One Whitetail, and then recently somebody found one on PC, and after examination of like all the screenshots they sent, it looks like it is legitimate too, so that's only four ultra rares ever known to exist for the whitetail. Pretty crazy to think about. Very, very crazy. There's another male moose. And that's a good one. Always love seeing those mid to large fours. Hey, now, don't put your head down like that. Quite rude. No, we missed the vitals. I, I think we completely missed them. Nope, that is a long shot. Missed the heart at the very minimum, though. Wow, what a dodge he just did. Did you guys see that? He literally just did like some kind of crazy loop-de-loop -loop and completely avoided that bullet. That's crazy. Hopefully, Cooper, I hope we do have one. Just shot a white tail deer and the hunter. Nice, Kronk, nice. There's those two. The great one moose have rare fur types like albino, etc. Um, I believe they do, yes. They do have Albino, Piebald, and Mela. I'm curious if they will still have those after this update, because there's rumors that 
There, there's been rumors floating around that they may have made it so you can't get a common fur type anymore. I can't confirm if that's legitimate, but I saw a few people in my chat yesterday saying that there was rumors about that. And then a couple people in the um, Great One Grinding, like, Fabled, the Fabled Ones channel in the official Hunter Discord were saying that as well, so... I don't know if it's true, but if it is, it makes me wonder if rares will still be possible. I'm assuming we'll see more about that in the patch notes tomorrow when they release the update. Because as of now, we don't have access to the patch notes, so I'm sure we'll see a lot more about the update once we have access to them. Yeah, unfortunately, that's a pretty, uh, pretty big problem in the community, Hunter Jones. Sadly, it's been a thing for years. Uh, we don't actually know if they are doing anything, Megatron. There's just uh, rumors going around that things are being done with it, but... I don't actually know, like, what the basis people are using to determine that is. I I'm pretty sure when I talked to, um... One of the people in Discord last night, one of the, like... Uh, grinders in the community named, uh, Ollie. They- he was saying that there was a lot of rumors going around that because they fixed the fur types in the lodge to where they show up as their proper fur now, that that must mean that they aren't common anymore. I don't know, like, who originally came up with that idea, but I, I don't know if that's really much to go off of to, like, guarantee something. So we'll see. We will have to see, but it's a, it's a discussion that's been going around a little bit. What did you miss so far? It's your birthday today, officially legal now. <laughs> nice, do it. Happy birthday, dude. I'm assuming that would be happy 18th or 21st birthday? Which, whichever one it is, happy birthday, man. Got my first diamond whitetail of my grind today. Nice, Destiny. That's awesome. Gotta go like watching your stream, doing the moosey grind. Adios. Later, uh, Beaming Dog. Thank you for being here. Glad you enjoy, as always. Here's a nice one. Nice little four. Oh. Another five, man. We're on a hot streak and a half the last couple days. Way better than, like, the entire week before then. But I'm, I'm gonna say it. Troll. It, this is a troll. It can't be anything but a troll. It's gotta be a troll. That rack is the one that's been trolling us. I swear to God, if this is another troll, I don't even know what to do. For those that are just jumping in, we've had seven... This will be the eighth level five in two days of grinding. Only one made diamond. Only one of them made diamond. I hope this one makes it too. It doesn't look like it will, though. Oh, no. Look at those brows. There's no brows. Oh, that's not gonna make it. This is probably a level four rack, to be honest. Wait, wait, what? No, <laughs> what? They, this rack can score that high? What? Are you kidding me? That can score that high? I don't think I've ever had that rack score that high. That's insane. Is this a different rack than the one I'm thinking of? There must be two that don't have brows. There must be two racks that don't have brows that are different sizes, because that's insanity. That's crazy. That's the biggest moose we've had in a while. I haven't had a moose score, like, around 290 in, like, probably, like, 15 plus level fives. And over a week and a half. That's insane. You've had one like that score 291? Dude, that's crazy. 291. Man. Giant. Well, that's pretty awesome. Oh my god. Finally, we're having our luck turn around. Two diamonds versus the six trolls we had yesterday. And we we're only like, what? Almost an hour into the uh, stream? So I'll take it. Definitely a step up from yesterday. Tony, thank you so much for the super chat. Just got my first Mel Moose and it was a level four. Nice, dude. That is amazing. You love to hear it. You love to hear it. 
Hurt, it, hurt, it. hear it. Ah, uh, no, great. We're not doing herd management. We're doing a little bit of a different strategy. Um, we stopped doing herd management quite a while back just because of the like conflicting opinions throughout the community on like how they feel about it, right? And uh, right now, what I do instead is we shot all of the stacked stuff on our map a long time ago when I was uh, sick for a while. I went around and shot all the twos that I could. And so we got to a point where our map's back to being pretty normal, right? And so the strategy that I'm using now is basically the strategy I used years ago before herd management was even, like, really known. The strategy that I'm using is I just hunt as many zones as I can that are, like, reliable. And I prioritize killing the biggest ones, but if I can't kill the biggest ones, then I'll shoot another one. Like, right here, that two gave me a shot, so I'm going to take a shot... Oh gosh, my voice died. I'm gonna take a shot at him as well, right? Which, this is exactly how I grinded, like, years ago. And I think pretty much everybody grinds that way. You prioritize the big ones, but if you can't get the big ones, you shoot the other ones as well. And so we've pretty much gone back to what we did before. And I always try to pick up the big ones first. I don't know if it affects anything, but it seems like it's done perfectly fine for me, so... I try to pick up the big ones first. Uh, it depends on what you consider worth it, Cooper. Uh, it takes a long time to get it to work. It's very uh, tedious. And at times it can be boring to get set up. But it all depends on what you want, right? If you just want great ones, then there really isn't a point in doing it. But if you want to get some diamonds along the way, then yeah, it can be fun. What's the next great one? Right now we have no idea what the next great one will be. There's rumors that it'll be a European bison, and in fact, there's a lot of evidence that kind of points to the possibility of a Euro bison great one. Honestly, guys, we might have to abandon this zone. I haven't had more than one male here in a very long time. This used to be a zone with four males, then one of the herds disappeared, and it was down to just two males. Now I only have one male here. Yeah, the biggest white tail troll was 149.91. I'm assuming you mean 249.91. Either way, that's unfortunate, man. Very unfortunate. Kind of like this zone right here. Very unfortunate. It's not really getting as many respawns as it used to. My map is doing some weird stuff. We're losing a lot of, like, shootable moose. And by that, I mean males. You do guided hunts with viewers? I don't because that's kind of Lady Legends thing. And I, I personally don't want to directly, like, copy another creator. And so instead of, like, guided hunts, what I do is I help viewers find their great one zones, right? Like, I go onto their, um, whatever map they're great one grinding and help them find the need zones for moose, bear, whitetail, stuff like that. Uh, we'll be doing another one of those streams in a couple of days, in fact. That's kind of the thing that we do here instead. Dude, you are just, like, tearing away at that shoulder right there. Turn to me. Um. What the? What? <laughs> you teleported out of existence. Um. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna move on from him and uh, take down this guy instead. He's giving us a decent shot. And, yeah, that's gonna be a hard shot. This guy's still calm somehow. I'll take it. Hey, Hedgehog, how's it going, dude? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing good. She's in front of him. She is directly in front of him. Are there level one bull moose? Yes, there is such thing as level one bull moose. They're really rare, though. To be honest, they're way more rare than a level five is. To the point where, like, getting a level 1 on your map is honestly a feat. Come on. No. No, no, no. Stop it. Ah, we missed the heart. No. <laughs> so close, man. What's my smallest moose? 
I don't actually know the exact score of my smallest moose. I'm pretty sure I've got one that's a minimum weight, though. Almost positive I've got a minimum weight one. You got one and it scored 35. That is crazy. Mine's got to be around there, too. I think it was like 34.77 or something, or 36.77. It was a small one. I know that. Level one moose grind when? Um, I don't know. We already have a couple, so I don't think I need to grind for them. Are there level one red deer? No, but there is level two red deer males. I don't believe they can go to level one, though. Unfortunately, that would honestly be kind of cool if they could. You're my favorite YouTuber. I love your videos and just got uh, Call of the Wild. I was wondering if you'd give me any tips. I'm new to Call of the Wild. Um, I would say biggest tip I can give early on is watch the beginner guide series that I've got here on the channel. Um, that would help out quite a bit. But no, for real, the uh, the biggest tip that I can give you as a beginning player, hunt near water. You'll find a lot more animals if you're hunting near water because drink zones are the most open zones in the game. So if you're hunting near water, there's a high chance you'll see more animals. But yeah, I do have a full like beginner's guide playthrough series that uh, will probably give you quite a bit of tips and tricks for like early on leveling. I spent the first few episodes just kind of explaining uh, the basics of the game. And kind of what I focus on to level up and earn XP and earn money to buy gear. It uh, should help you out quite a bit. Where are the Great One Crow? Hopefully popping out soon, Zacky. We are way over the average kills for a Great One Moose, so... I'm hoping he's going to show up soon. We're almost 3,000 kills into this grind, which is more than the majority of people. That's for sure. We're getting quite unlucky with this. We've also been getting really unlucky... With the, uh, oh with the diamonds. We had six trolls yesterday. Luckily, today, we've had two fives show up, and they both made it. But yesterday, it, it was rough. Six trolls in a row. Never had that happen with Moose before. Um, Anime Killer, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing. And Aussie Kid, thank you for the two months as a member. Welcome, welcome back. I replied to the giveaway winner already, uh, David. Just waiting on their response. Any more trolls yet? No trolls today, creative title. In fact, we got two diamonds. Today is already looking a lot better than yesterday. Uh, what do you mean by that, Smash? I I'm not sure I, I quite understand what you mean. Did someone actually attempt to grind great ones in different zones? L like, what do you mean? Like, are you talking about getting a great one in multiple zones? Like, getting multiple great ones on the map, or what? Not entirely sure I know what you mean. What video was the giveaway? It was the uh, first day of early access video. Or no, not the first day of early access video. It was the, um, what's it called? It was the Great One Euro Bison, like, speculation video from a couple days ago. I already picked out one of the winners this morning. I need to go through the comments again tonight and pick out another one of the winners. But if you haven't got your comment in on that video, be sure to do it. Uh-oh, I shot while he was shaking. That is almost always going to be a missed heart shot. That should take him down, though. And to be honest, when we fast travel, another one might render in. There's usually two males, and I only saw one. So we'll see if he renders in when we fast travel. Anything? No. I, I guess there was just one. Crazy. Normally we have two here. Where did he even die? He must have ran much farther than I expected. Can't wait to try the 7mm Magnum bolt action rifle. It's really fun, uh, Greg. It's definitely my favorite of the three new rifles. Wasn't it also for Fallow Great One? Um, I did a different video for the Fallow Deer Great One. That was a different one.
how to become a member. Uh, you can become a member by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button. There's a couple decent males. See if we can sink a shot into this guy. Let's use the other scope, though. He's not in a great spot. That cow is right in the way. Wonder if I can just get her to move. Ah, uh, she's definitely moving, but is he? No, he's not. Perfect. Love to see it. We got that guy down. Unfortunately, we just barely tagged this one. Hopefully that shot will take him down for good. I don't believe so, Colton. I think they've kept the uh, spawn system the same for years. Don't believe they've ever actually changed the spawn system in Call of the Wild. Nice, Tiger. That's awesome, man. Not gonna lie, I thought I was zeroed for 300. So I aimed a little bit lower than I should have there. We are just falling apart with the aim, guys. Just absolutely falling apart. Just got a great one. Whitetail scored 637.4. Nice, Clash. That's awesome. That's a big rack right there. Got a troll five medium albino kudu. Oh no, Haley, that is the worst. Nothing worse than getting a rare troll. I've had one of those. Actually, I've had two of them. And it is one of the saddest feelings in Call of the Wild. Uh, no, Caswell, no map changes at all this update. Every population and like a uh, home range of animals is completely the same in this update. So nothing will get reset or anything. Worse than Caitlyn's bear aim. Wow, that's just mean, Zacky. Hey, that's just savage, dude. Like, oh my gosh. Talk about just rolling through and obliterating somebody. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is insanity. What does duck aim mean? It's kind of a... Or what does duck aim mean? It's kind of like a meme throughout my community about how I can never hit ducks no matter how hard I try. And so we just start calling it duck aim whenever you miss a lot of shots. That's where that kind of stemmed from. Animals spawn in the zone you shot them or can they spawn in different zones? They can spawn in different zones, Cooper. And uh, for once, like, I think for the first time ever, Jax actually confirmed that on the EW stream last week. He said that uh, whenever you shoot an animal, they aren't required to go back to the same zone. They just go to, like, a general area. So they could end up at a different zone nearby. And I was really surprised that they actually, like, came out and said that. It was something that we had suspected for a long time, but... I, I didn't think they would ever actually say it. So it's good to know that that really is what happens. Because there's a lot of people, including myself, that have always been confused how they just sometimes disappear. Now we can for sure say that... 9 times out of 10... If you just randomly start losing respawns, they probably went to different areas. Pretty wild. But I guess it kind of makes sense, right? They want something to be a bit random. Can't make everything easy for us. Hope you get the great one, Moose tonight, Scarecrow. My name's Joseph. How's it going, Joseph? Thank you for being here. And uh, thank you for the, uh, for the good luck there. Hopefully we will end up getting it. Uh, these males didn't come back. Hmm. That's not a good sign. I might not be able to use this zone to grind. Well, we'll give it a chance. We'll uh, keep the tent here and see if they come back later. 
Had a three very easy whitetail, but it trolled. I'm sorry to hear that, Country Moon. Hey, Clay Drew, how's it going? Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, no, Davin, I don't stream on Twitch. I used to when I first started making content, but um, over the years, I kind of just lumped all my content into YouTube to make it a little bit easier to manage. One of these days, I probably will return to Twitch, though, just to kind of have, like, a, a backup plan in case YouTube, like, dies or something. Always good to have a backup plan, right? But one of these days, we might go back. But I primarily just do stuff here on YouTube. Can we get him down? We did. Beautiful. Hey, TTH, how's it going, man? Welcome. I'm pretty sure there's grass under the snow on uh, Medved, Broccolius. I'm almost positive we've got some grass under the snow. Got a troll Rocky Elk and an albino on the same map today. Nice, Fox. That is awesome, dude. Those albino Rockies are amazing. How do you get the estimated score on the binoculars? I believe it's the spotting knowledge perk, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I definitely do, Broccoli. So whenever I'm not working, doing content, then I, I am outside quite often. I spent like the last three or four days just kind of like going around town with the family. Believe it or not. Doing YouTube is pretty much the same as, like, a, an office job. Except we get to have fun while we're doing it. It's been good, Code Man. We got two diamonds already, which is amazing. Yeah, for sure, Broccoli. It's definitely. Always enjoy spending time with my uh, wife and daughter. And, uh, her mom moved to Oregon... A couple days ago, so we've been helping her get settled in. Been uh, hanging out with her as well. Kind of showing her around town and stuff. It has been uh, quite a bit of fun. I think that should be vitals. I believe so, at least. How do you spot through the scope instead of the binos? That would be the sight spotting skill. Two twenty three just sucks. You're not wrong. Two twenty three is garbage. That gun is hot garbage. We're definitely gonna have to move some stuff around. Like we are, we're losing males at all our zones. I don't know what's happening, but I don't like it. Like looking around, like we're, we haven't even got rid of some of the hunting pressure at the zones we're about to hit up. Normally we would have been able to because we'd have more down. Thinking we're going to have to rethink some of our uh, positioning. To be honest, I might go back to one of the river zones. This zone over here always had a lot of males. That might be our best bet to getting some more males into the rotation. How's the new weapon DLC treating you? Uh, right now, we're not on the early access build, but when I was on the early access, um, I really like the 7mm. It's easily my favorite of this pack. Really awesome rifle. Uh, the 338's decent, but it's not quite as good as I hoped it would have been. And the 308, I mean, it's cool. It's a 308. It's what you would expect out of a bolt action 308. Not quite as uh, insane as the 308 AR, but still a, a decently reliable rifle that's going to perform just how you expect it to. I think overall, it's a, it's a pretty solid pack. I still think the Modern Rifles weapon pack is my favorite, but this one's pretty good. Uh, no, Tyler. To be honest, like, once I get done doing, like, streaming, I, I tend to just jump off the PC and go do other stuff to kind of unwind. 
So I haven't really looked into the origins of any of the uh, rifles. My favorite great one ever. I really like the moose. If you're talking about specific combinations, my favorite great one of all time is probably... It would be a fabled piebald typical rack whitetail. But uh, in, in just in general, my favorite great one species is the moose because they, they gave them such good combinations of antlers and fur types. Some of those fur types are just stunning. There's turkeys in Silver Ridge, but I agree they should add some waterfowl or something. Oh, that would be cool. I would not mind a duck species on Silver Ridge. Though, let, let's not give them any ideas. We, we, we want a big game species added to Silver Ridge. <laughs> I really am curious what they're going to add to Silver Ridge. We know that we're not getting any uh, backfilled animals this update. And I'm pretty sure Jaxi said in the stream that that is usually the type of thing they do with a new map release. So maybe in June we'll get something new on Silver Ridge. I really hope that we get something... Something other than a bird. Kind of hoping they do like either whitetail or... I guess maybe bobcat wouldn't be too bad. But that would just be another thing to spook our bears. Let's be honest. <laughs> I, I don't think another predator would do good on there. Yeah, whitetail would fit because they're in that area. And people love whitetail. Um, what else would even work, guys? I don't know. It's based on, like, Colorado, so. Yeah, would moose work, Zachy? I I've heard some people mention moose. I, I don't really know too much about whether or not they're in that area. Yeah, coyotes would work. Maybe they could do a, a coyote rework with that as well. Maybe they could do a, an overhaul to the models of the coyotes and then make them on that map. Moose are in Colorado? Okay, that would make sense then. Yeah, moose, whitetail, coyote, those are all good options for Silver Ridge Peaks. Also guys, explain to me, how does a coyote not spook other animals but a bobcat does? Always something I've, I've wondered about, like, why is it that the bobcats spook things off, but the coyotes don't? Like, here in Oregon, like a coyote, they're, they're bad news to, like, like, uh, like poultry and stuff like that. If you got a coyote around, well, you're probably going to have a few chickens go missing. Same with a bobcat, but it, it's just weird that one spooks stuff in this game and the other doesn't. Hello, little moose. Yeah, I know, right, Keen? None of the bears spook anything off, but, like, the bobcats and the mountain lions will spook the bears. <laughs> it's so interesting. What great one do I want next? I'd love to see a black-tailed deer, but... I don't think it's likely that we'll get another Leighton Great One first. I think we'll probably get a Hirschfelden Great One. But I would love to see a Black-tailed Deer. I think it would be a really good option since right now, there's really not a lot of good-looking racks for the Black-tailed Deer. They're, a lot of the big ones are quite unrealistic. Hey, Fast, how's it going? Um, I don't have that kind of power fast. I could I could tell them about something all day and they probably wouldn't even take it into account. I cannot remember a time where I ever said I wanted anything in the game and it actually happened. Like, I don't have that type of power, man. I'm just another person that plays the game in their eyes. Want them to add tigers? I don't think they do tigers because of the whole, like, real life like legal stuff that goes along with it like you can't really let's that's three males right there or three moose two males
This is a possibility for a zone we could use, but again, I kind of want two males to shoot. And if there's only three in a zone and I shoot the two males, that zone is gone. But I guess this is close to an old zone that we used to use. We could get a male that we can shoot over here. I would make it so we could use this as a claiming tent, actually. This might be the spot, now that I think of it. This actually might be a really good place to do it. This is a zone we grinded heavily during our first few moose grinds, and then we kind of stopped doing it after a while. That was about 176 away. We're going to drop the tent over here. Do a quick little time change and see if we can get them over here. What if a great one fur that you want does not show up? Then we'll keep grinding for them. I want to get at least one fabled birch or fabled two-tone. After I get one of those, I'll probably just be happy with it. But who knows? Maybe this will turn into something like the whitetail where I just keep grinding until I get every single rack and fur combination. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever go that far. That's insane fast. That's pretty insane, man. I still don't have a great one bear. Hard to say if I'll ever get one because those things are rough to chase after. How many great ones do I have? Currently 27 of them, Ash. Most of them are whitetail. Oh, hi. Hello, little moosey. Now that I think of it, I believe the majority of the moose that I was thinking were here are actually up here. Yeah, we got one going alert. Oh, we're going to have to rethink this, I think. No, Drum, we're not even close to 3.1k kills yet. Uh, we're probably only like... 60 more kills into it, so when I started the stream, we were at 2890. We're probably at like 2950 now. We've been doing a lot of running around trying to find a new zone to incorporate into the grind. Because we lost a lot of uh shoot of um of males out of our zone. Ooh, here we go. Here is at least one male. That's another male right there. Okay, beautiful. See how far this is. 160. Oh, I could totally get a tent up there. Oh my gosh, that could be insane, guys. Uh, Bob, thank you for the 15 months, dude. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. That, that's honestly crazy. 15 months as a member. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Don't think I have the patience to grind, just love to hunt. Hey man, there's nothing wrong with that. That's the amazing thing about uh, Call of the Wild is it's one of those games where you can really just play however you enjoy and be perfectly happy with it, right? I I, I enjoy just a casual walk around hunt uh, just as much as I do grinding too, man. A lot of fun. Thank you for the uh, support. What's my favorite great one? I like the moose the best. Depending on how the new uh, changes to the like uh, speed at which they get to their drink zone, Zachy, we might. It'll depend. How much does a membership cost? Memberships are 99 cents. I made them as cheap as YouTube would allow me to. Uh, yeah, Shreve Ford, I remember you. What's my favorite animal to hunt? The whitetail, uh, Robbie. The whitetail are a lot of fun. Definitely my favorite species to hunt. See if we can get all the way up here. What's my favorite bird species to hunt? 
Favorite bird species is probably the pheasants. I do like the ringneck pheasants. Although the capercallies are also amazing. To be honest, capercallies are probably my favorite. They're, they're just so cool. And they're also like little demon birds, so they attack you sometimes, which is hilarious. <laughs> Can we get up? There we go. I mean, I, I I don't know if I really have an answer for you, Moss. I don't know how you can get your if you how you can convince your mom to buy you Reventuli. I mean, when I was a kid, whenever I like uh, wanted to get something right, I always tried to just like show my parents that I deserved it, right? And so I'd just be extra good, help them out more. Definitely can't hurt, right? You should you should be nice and help your parents out anyway. But that's probably what I would recommend, like. Or, or ask if there's any work you can do around the house to maybe earn a little bit of money to get the map, right? That's what I used to do as well. I'd ask my dad if there was anything that I could do around the house to earn a couple dollars. And usually he'd be like, yeah, if you want to, like, go outside and stack some of the wood for our uh, firewood, right? Then I could do that. Sometimes he'd be like, yeah, we got some brush that we need cut down in the backyard or something like that. So, like, there's always something you can do, man. I think in most cases, most parents will always have like uh, some stuff that you can do. What is this? Oh, it's a little like a uh, little point of interest. Nice. That's kind of cool. Have I ever gone camping? Many, many times, uh, Megatron. Uh, my wife and I used to go camping quite a bit before... Uh, before we had our daughter, but and nowadays we don't get to quite as much because it's kind of hard to do that with a baby. I mean, I guess she's not like a baby baby anymore, but it's still difficult to camp with a toddler. Where can I put this tent? Where does it even go? We're on the edge of the cliff. I just need to find a place I can place this. There's got to be a place right here I can do it. Like, maybe here? This looked good, but no. This is definitely the angle for taking down these moose, though. This angle's really nice. Falls off cliff? Hey, now, don't jinx me. I don't want to have to run all the way back up here. That would be the saddest thing that could possibly happen. Come on. Let me place this call of the wild. Come on. This this has to be. Yeah, there we go. Ah, finally. Finally. Let's go down here and grab the other tent, and then we'll fast travel back up and go claim that one. There we go. Ah, to be honest, we don't even need to fast travel up there. I think this would be a good setup. We'll see. Have I ever gone fishing? Oh, I've done a ton of fishing growing up, uh, Skyfly. I've easily caught, like, hundreds of fish. Hundreds of trout, quite a bit of salmon and steelhead as well. Or not steelhead, but salmon. I've been steelhead fishing a lot, but never really got one. i uh, done a decent bit of, uh, rock fishing off the coast. Not like catching actual rocks, but fishing for rockfish. All right, later, Kelly. Thank you for dropping in. I think a good buff for 223 would be making it class 1 to 4, so you can zero for 300 on rabbits, etc. Maybe Riggles. I could see that maybe being a way to make it useful. But at that point, it would kind of make the 22 Hornet obsolete if they did that. I honestly think they just need to give the 223 more power. Make it closer to what the 243 currently is, and then give the 243 a buff in power, as well as giving the 270 a buff in power. I think all three of those guns are a little bit weak currently. What do you guys think? Does the uh, 243, 270, and 223 all need a buff? I feel like all three of those guns are way weaker than their real life counterparts. What's the biggest fish that I've caught? My biggest fish ever was a 42-pound Chinook salmon. It was about 42 inches long as well. 
absolute beast. What are you moose doing? You're kind of just chilling here. You don't even care that I'm here. This just goes to show how smart moose are. I'm going to try and get an idea of how many of these are in the same herd and how many are in different herds because I don't want to delete a herd. This was that little dude. So he's in a group of three. That's a group of four. Hmm. Well, we're going to hope that we don't accidentally delete one of those groups because that is uh, it's going to be tough to keep track of which is which. I oh, appreciate the uh, the like there, Kelly. Very intelligent Mesesis. Yep, indeed, Bebop. They are quite, quite intelligent. Yes, they do. Just don't change the 6.5 class range. It's a great gun for the class. It already works on changing its class and may, may be a bad idea. I think the thing that really bugs me about the 6.5 is that it's not the proper cartridge for the gun that they put in the game. Like, that that gun is in 6.5, I believe it's only in 6.5 Creedmoor and 6.5 PRC, yet they did 6.5 Swedish for some reason. It makes no sense. Like, the gun doesn't even come in that caliber in real life, at least the one that they modeled it off of. But if it really is after 6.5 Swedish, then the power level's fine. I, I do personally I do personally think that they do need to change the class range though. I, I know that you're that you were saying that you don't want them to, but I personally think that three to eight would give people a reason to use it. Because right now it, it gets overshadowed by so many guns. It's such a cool sounding gun and it looks amazing. But the fact that it's the same class range as the 308, the 30 out six, the seven millimeter, that really just makes it so nobody uses it unless you love the sound and look of it. So I hope they give it some type of a change to make it at least like relevant for use. No, Drawn, the 6.5 is not based off the 6.5 Creed more. The uh if you go to the ammo, the cartridge looks like a 6.5 Swedish. And the actual model of the gun is based off of a uh Bergera B14, I believe. Which is only chambered in 6.5 PRC, 6.5 Creedmoor, and then like other calibers like 308, etc., etc. But there's only two 6.5s it's chambered in, and 6.5 Swedish is not one of them. Oh, we've already been to this one recently. We got to go to a different spot. Losing track of like what order we've been hitting these zones in because we keep running around trying to find a new one to hunt. Oh yeah, that'd be really good, uh, Hardcore Grand. I'd love to see them introduce the 17 HMR. A lot of people have requested that for a lot of years. Oh, I agree, Revan. Like, it, it does make zero sense that you can't shoot a road ear with it. It is very strange uh, design choice. All the Wild may have a lot of things that we love in the game, but there's also a lot of things that are very questionable. 416 would be good for Buffalo and Bison. I would love a 416. That's one of my most wanted guns. A lot of people want the 375, but for a big game rifle, I would prefer the 416. 416 is such a cool, cool rifle. Brings back a lot of memories too, because it was used quite a bit in the uh, the older Cabela's games. That was like a, a gun that all of the old Cabela's games had. Oh, yeah, that's understandable, Tyler. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. I, I think it should be usable in Class 8 as well. I feel like 3 to 8 would give it something that other guns don't have. That's the whole thing for me. I think the 6.5, because it's weaker than the others in that class range, it needs a purpose for being used over them. So I think, yeah, Classes 3 to 8 would be good because then it would be able to do something that other guns just can't. The Mosin would be the closest thing in terms of, like, what it can do, and the Mosin is class 3 to 7, so I think 3 to 8 would make the 6.5 useful. Because it's such a cool gun, it's just a shame that it's not very powerful. For the classes they assigned it to, right? Nice, Caitlin, that's awesome. Congrats on that diamond blacktail. I'm glad that it made it. 
That's really cool. Giant Blacktail are uh, quite uh, another five. <laughs> Guys, explain to me how we're getting more fives now than when we did herd management. Back when I did herd management, we never got this many level five moose, and now that I've stopped doing it, we get lots of five moose. How does that even work? I don't get it. I, I don't understand. How does that work? That's insanity. I don't know if that guy's gonna make it. Let's take another look at him. Um. Oh, he's wonky. Mm, he's not making it. That's a troll. That is a troll. That's 100% a troll. Look at the wonk on him. I've never had one with those two antlers that made it. I don't think that's diamond. That that can't be a diamond. Look at that little feller. He's adorable. He's also out of render. All right, I'm going to reset the time again. I want to see if the other herd will show up because we have two herds here. I think part of the reason we're having trouble getting rid of the hunting pressure is because I haven't been resetting the time to get all the herds to show up at my zones. There's been a couple that we've just not worried about shooting. In fact, I think there was one over here, right? Oh, no, I killed that one as well. We're good. Um, we got that guy to take down now. Again, we're one short from the norm in this herd. Normally, this herd has two males, just like the one that we shot him out of. But there's only one. Moose are really the only species that does this, where for a while, I just lose males out of my zones, and then they show up like a couple hundred kills later. Come on, see if this guy will face us. Ah, we missed the hard shot, no. Oh well, it is what it is. I'm really curious if that five is going to make it. I don't think he will. Confused RNG. That's what I'm saying, uh, Mar. I really don't get it. Back when we were doing herd management, we had really low, like, ratio of diamonds. And after I undid everything and returned my map back to its, like, normal state, we've had more fives than I ever had back then. That guy, there's no way he makes it, right? Okay, there is one way that he could make it. If this is that, if this antler is part of that rack that goes like high 280s, and this is the rack that barely trolls, it could score just above diamond. Maybe. Ronnie, thank you so much for becoming a member. Really appreciate it. Enjoy the uh, perks that come with that, the emotes, the extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you so much. Let's see if this thing makes it. Nope, nope, knew it. Knew that was a troll. Every time I get one that has 50-50 rack like this, it trolls me. Had a feeling. Well, we spoke too soon. We thought the uh, luck was continuing to turn around, but instead we got trolled again. So that means between the two days that we've been grinding yesterday and today, or I guess the last two days, We've had nine level fives in two days over the course of six hours. And only two of the nine made diamond. <laughs> Moose are such trolls. Like, it, it, it's so much that it's not even funny. They just troll to the point where it's not even funny anymore. How long is the stream? Not sure the exact length, but it will be at least another hour or two. Probably a couple of hours. Connor, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, dude. You're the coolest Call of the Wild YouTuber. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, dude. Can I click on that? There we go. I attempted to click on that like five times and it wouldn't let me. That's really bad odds. It definitely is, Connor. I'm starting to think that moose are kind of like feral goats. Um... A lot of you may know feral goats seem to be level fives more than most species, but they also troll most of the time. Same with uh, reindeer and caribou. You see a lot of level fives, but most of them troll. I think moose might be the same way. 
you see a lot of level fives, but the majority troll. Because like 90% of the level fives that we get are very low weights and are usually below diamond. So I got a feeling that's just how the moose are. They, they just troll. At least it's making it so when we do get a diamond, it's pretty exciting. It's wild, like, you look at the level 5 count, right? You you think, like, after 6 hours, like, 9 level 5s, like, wow, that's really good. That's insane. That's above average. And then you look at the amount that made diamond. Like, if I said I got 2 diamonds in 6 hours and 300 kills, everybody would be like, well, that's not very good. So I think that really is, like, um, just how the moose are. We see a lot of level 5s, but barely any of them make it. Which ends up giving you about the same average uh, kill count between diamonds that you would see with like Whitetail. Where did this one go? Gotta be close. How do you get it to snow? Um, Medved Taiga is just naturally a snowy map. And if you go to Yukon, that map also has snow on it, and it's like one of those uh. One of those uh, weather systems where it'll sometimes be like a normal and then sometimes it'll snow and be all snowy. I don't know why, but I just made that sentence way too convoluted. Hey, Faded, how's it going, dude? What is my biggest uh, moose? Biggest moose would be a 301 diamond. Though, before they changed the way the scoring works for them, I did have a 307, but they can't get that big anymore. So I guess technically that 307 is my biggest moose of all time. Now, in terms of the, like, visual look of them, I'd say my second Great One moose looks the biggest, but because of the way the scoring system is, it scores lower than um, the 300 diamonds that I've had. 300 scoring, I mean. Not, not 300 diamonds. I haven't got 300 diamond moose, I promise. <laughs> But like the 300 scoring diamonds actually look smaller than my second great one moose. How long did it take me to get my all albino breadwinner? Like two years, Connor. Because I didn't hunt them all the time, right? Is this a... Is that a four that's going to make diamond? I swear to God if a four makes diamond, but that last guy didn't. There's, <laughs> there's going to be something wrong with this game if that's what's going to happen here. Does this guy make it, but the last guy didn't? That's, that's definitely, that's either a 270 or like a 274 plus. It's either barely below or barely above. What is our luck, man? We're getting such good luck, but it's been like such a bad luck at the same time. He's wide. Yeah, he does have a lot of width to him. It's making me think he might make it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to say no. Yep, yep, just barely below. Wow. <laughs> We've had so many good moose and barely any have made diamond. Barely any have made diamond. You know, when we find a great one, it's probably going to troll at this point. Why not? That guy is like a 250s level 4, I believe. Nice. Got both of those. Should be one more herd here. Great one's going to be a diamond. You know, it's not possible, but at, my, at, at this rate, with my luck, I wouldn't doubt if it happens. <laughs> What species do I have the most diamonds of? Easily Red Deer Sky. I was doing very heavy herd management on Red Deer for a while. Um, before we quit doing it, I think I had 848 diamond Red Deer. Which is... It's it's more than a little bit, you know? That's a lot of Red Deer. And honestly, that's part of the reason that I, I don't really care to hunt Red Deer anymore. I'm so burnt out on Red Deer because I hunted them so heavily. Let's go grab this big boy first. That's a decent one. Probably like 230s. Oh. 
This is the most insane run we've had all day. Wow. Where, where are all these big males coming from? Where are all these giants coming from? I've got a little bit of a theory, guys. I think I'm starting to get a little bit of an idea of uh, some of the stuff that happens on the grind. I've noticed that whenever I get these big bursts of these giant males on the grind, a lot of the times it's after I start losing males in my zones. I wonder if like there's just some that don't respawn. They're like stuck in a respawn limbo. Because I had one situation a while back where I lost like eight of my... Uh, I lost eight of my males in my main zones. And... When I went and hunted some reindeer for a while, I came back, continued hunting moose, shot like maybe 30 or 40 more, and then out of nowhere I got 20 brand new males in my main zones. And so I'm wondering if right now I've got less males in total, so it's changing like the average scores of them. Because we all know from like how herd management works that the game kind of decides what spawns based on like the average scores of the map. So I'm wondering if like me losing a bunch of males, maybe that's causing the game to like pump out more big ones. Because at this point we've stopped doing herd management. We're back to grinding normal. But I wonder if we have just less moose on the map in general. So it's possible that it's being affected more by the stuff that we shoot. Because that guy's almost guaranteed to be diamond. That's like the third... Almost diamond or diamond that we've had this run. Yeah, he is. He's very close to being confirmed diamond. Like two points off of being guaranteed. Insanity. This is pretty crazy. Not gonna lie, this is the most insane day I've had for grinding moose. It's been, or not just the day, the last two days. It's been better in terms of amount of big males we've seen than when we were doing herd management. It's been way better than any of those days. Which is absurd to think about. That guy's got to make it. There's no way he doesn't. This looks like a diamond. I'd say this is a diamond. What do you guys think? Let's get a little bit of votes in there on what you guys think will, will be the score. 276, 275, 276, 74, 282. Oh, going bigger, go home, huh, Ben? 280, 275, 276. I'm going to say 275.32. Oh my gosh, it's 278. No way. Explain to me how this level four made 278.49, but that 50-50 rack that weighed like, I think, 20 kgs more? Trolled. All the wild makes no sense sometimes. We had a big, big level five, nice and heavy. Trolled. Level four, diamond. Because why not? <laughs> That's a big boy right there. That is a big boy. Uh, let's tax him before I forget. There we go. Yeah, that's a really wide one. I can see why he made it. That's a super wide moose. 270, 49. My gosh. The luck is turning around. Yeah, Megatron, we got a level 4 diamond. You know what's insane, Megatron? Yesterday, we had six level fives and they all trolled. Today, we've had three level fives and two diamond rack level fours and three of the five made diamond. <laughs> the luck's finally turning around, man. This has been the most insane run we've had. We've had three diamond potentials this run alone, I think in consecutive zones even, or close to being consecutive zones. Oh yeah, update the diamond counter, that's right. Yeah, definitely fuzzy. This is the best luck we've had in a while. Like I was saying, it's pretty crazy that when we were doing herd management a few months ago, um, we never had this many big males show up. Like, And now that I went around my map before, or back when I was sick and shot all the twos down, and then we shot some more of them down on stream, I, this, is, this has been better than any of the days when we were HMing. It's crazy. Oh, there's some of them that I just want to, Isaiah. Like, I don't see a lot of diamond moose. Because most of them end up being trolls. So, I, I do like taxing most of them. 
This... Something's up with our map. There's got to be a great one close. We're seeing more giant fours than we've seen in weeks. There's so many big fours and fives showing up. I wonder if we're going to get a great one. It probably means nothing, but it's fun to, like, speculate that maybe we're going to get a great one. Also, just hit five o'clock, so, uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab a drink. All right, we're back. Uh, no, Dusty, I just went to grab a drink because it just hit five o'clock. You know, got it. Got to make it fun. Because <laughs> I know how much you guys uh, enjoy it when Crow gets silly. Yeah, no, no problem, Dusty. Boom, two thirty-one. What a what a chonkin' moose. I do say so myself. Five o'clock somewhere, exactly, Tyson. Exactly. Ipsy Crow, indeed, Drawn. Indeed. Uh, yeah, Kingston, I do hunt IRL. I haven't done it very recently, but um, back when I was growing up, I used to hunt. Last time I got to go hunting, I believe, was when I was 18. Haven't really done it since. Let's blast this guy. Honestly, this zone is kind of nice. I like this angle. This is such a good angle. Can we even, like... Can we see back here? This is another zone right there. Oh, no, that's out of render. Um... What about that one? I mean, nah, we can't really see anything if there was anything there. Oh, well. For the great one, Whitetail Grind, do you have to find all your zones? Um, you don't have to, no. There's no, like, requirement to find all your zones to, to do a great one grind. Oh my gosh, J-Ray, that's huge. 291 minimum estimate. That's insane. Hey, Carrie, how's it going? Sorry, been absent. Should be able to be more present now. Oh, no worries, Carrie. Like, like I've said before, life comes first, right? I totally get it. Appreciate you being here, though. What time should the update come out? Approximately, like, 2.30 or 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is... Like 5.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time? Um, I think there's a couple moderators lurking, Carrie. I know Ben was in here for a while. Um, Caitlin was as well. plager has been in here off and on. I I'm sure there's a couple people lurking. Welcome back, Jennifer. How you doing? Hope you're doing good. We get this guy? Oh, he's turning. 
but not exactly the way I wanted him to. Barely missed the heart. Oh, well. Good enough. Ah, yes, Caitlyn is here as well. Always lurking. I know, creative, it's crazy. It's literally, like, not even 12 hours away. It's less than 12 hours till we get the update. Are you guys excited to finally have a, a spook range that is more reasonable than the 300 meters before? <laughs> We can finally have a spook range that makes more sense. Given yeah, it's definitely not going to be as good as it was a couple months ago, but it's going to be close. Oh, nice, Tyler. Nice. Uh, somebody was telling me, like the, uh, what's it called? The single shot 338 is apparently based off of a rifle that shoots 338 Lapua Magnum. So, it definitely is weird that the gun doesn't perform like a 338 Lapua Magnum. Looking forward to loadouts? Yeah, the loadouts are going to be nice. I, I'm definitely going to build like as many loadouts as I can. Probably a full 10. Yeah, definitely, Caitlin. I kind of feel the same way about the moose. There's a couple lakes that I'd like to put my tents closer, but, like, the spook range just makes that impossible. So, yeah, definitely going to be a huge change for grinding. Definitely going to be a massive improvement. Same with loadouts, because, like, now I can switch between, like, my, uh, my multiplayer loadout and my great one moose grinding loadout and my whitetail grinding loadout just with the click of a button which is going to be so good it's going to save so much time when uh bouncing between grinds or like uh types of hunting that i'm going to do come on moosey Nice, we got them both. That's a rarity. Usually I mess up on the second one. That's your first time in reindeer? Nice, Carrie. That's awesome. That's a big one, too. 453. Wow. That's huge. That is absolutely huge. That's a small level four? It is. This is a little dude. It's kind of crazy how much of a range the fours have. They can score as low as, like, I believe, like, 185-ish. Clear up to... Like, 289. Level 4s have a massive range of score. A lot larger than most uh, level 4 animals of other species. Kind of crazy. Yeah, I bet, Carrie, because most of the time they, uh... Most of the time they troll. Maybe, Dopey. I mean, the only way to know is to try and get one, you know? I wish you luck, I believe. I believe that you can get that diamond. Had a few trolls. Yes, yeah, same, carry. Most of my reindeer have trolled. Uh, same with caribou. And what's crazy is it didn't used to be that way. It used to be that they would make it a lot more often. And then for some reason they changed the score requirements and not really sure why they uh, thought that was a good idea. I don't think this other guy is going to give us a good enough shot to really drop him. I might just take a couple shots at him on the run. Hope that we hit something vital. That has to be vitals there. Yeah, that's vitals. He's going down. Oh. Boom. One more. Will he go down? We will know shortly. What is my highest scoring diamond moose? I believe 307, but they can't actually get that... Uh, high of score anymore. That was an older scoring system, Diamond. When they first switched over to scoring 2.0, the moose could get a lot bigger, and then they lowered the score requirement for Diamond, and for some reason lowered the maximum score for them as well. It just made it so moose don't get quite as big as they used to. Always wondered why whenever they would lower the Diamond requirement, they would also lower the, the actual, like, possible scores for them. It's a little bit strange. 
Like, you used to be able to get whitetail that were over 290 for diamond. Now you're lucky if you get one that's like 274 or 275. Do the animals get scared of the tents? Uh, sometimes, yes, but... Only in some circumstances. There's actually quite a, a big misconception on how tents affect animals. A lot of people think that if they have a tent too close that it will spook the animal. What it really does is it makes it so they don't render in. So if you, like, have a tent, let's say 150 meters away, right? And you don't see any animals. If you back up to, like, 200 meters, there's a pretty decent chance that you'll see some animals popping in at their drink zone. So I don't actually think the tents really spook them unless you can already see them in render. Like, uh, for example, if I have moose at that zone right there, and I'm, like, able to see them, and I fast travel. It will spook them. But if you're out of render distance, and you fast travel to, like, within 150 meters of them, they'll instead just not render in. Uh, no, Zygerts, I don't use Instagram. The only thing I really have for, like, uh, the channel, right, is Discord. I have Discord, and then I have TikTok as well, because I, uh, I post stuff on TikTok. But other than that, it's just, uh, just old YouTube and Discord and, and TikTok. Got a super rare moose piebald scored 276. Nice, Oski, that's crazy. That is amazing. Whoa, 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 we got two males here. What? Oh my gosh, that's so nice to see. We have two males again. That's huge. We actually have two males again, guys. I thought this zone was just permanently going to be one male, and I was really debating on moving to a different area. But there's two again. That's huge. I can't really get a good view on them, though. Makes me wonder if we should move our setup down here and shoot them from that uh, angle right there. That might actually be better. Let's do that while I'm thinking about it. Let's move things around a bit. a quick little uh, grabbing of this stand right here. Speaking of stands, there's another zone um, that we haven't been using a stand at that I might try a tree stand out. Is four diamonds usual for level 20? Uh, there's not really anything as like a usual amount of diamonds for a specific level. Because there's a lot of RNG that goes into the game. Uh, you might just come across more diamonds than another player. But I'd say four diamonds at level 20 is pretty good. It's definitely not bad if that's what you were uh, wondering. It's definitely not bad at all. In fact, that is quite good. I didn't get my first diamond until uh, level 51. Oh, we got one of them vitally, but not that guy. Smoked him. Do you think they'll add trail cams? I don't know, Ash. I, I think it would be really awesome if they did, because I could use that to keep track of my uh, Great One grinding zones. But I don't know if they'll do it. I think it would be kind of uh, rough on the game. I think it would cause a lot of lag, because there'd be a bunch of like different instances open of like uh, camera angles, and I feel like it would increase the lag. But I would love it if I could just open up my phone like this and... Like, click a button and it goes into, like, the camera feed and then I can cycle through the different trail cams. That would be really cool. It would be a good way to keep tabs on zones that you don't normally hunt. To, uh, see if you've got any, uh, males that have moved there. Let's drop this, like, right... Probably right there. Oh. There we go. I think this is gonna be a really good spot to, uh, take some shots from. We'll have to do a little bit of testing next run and see if it's actually a good angle. I think it will be, though. Drop it right there. Now, let's go ahead and equip the tree stands. I want to add those somewhere. Uh, Johnny, how's it going? Lost power twice today. Oh, no. That's not fun. That, that's not good at all. I want to add a tree stand right over here because I feel like that tripod stand is just too far away. There's definitely some trees we can slap a stand on real quickly. Nice, blue tick. That's awesome. 
Give the hunter mate a purpose. That's what I'm saying, Kian. Right now, the hunter mate is useless in the game. It's kind of just a phone that occasionally will show, like, what mission you're on if you have missions enabled. That That's literally all it does. Imagine, can I put this up here? Oh, oh, I can? No way. Oh my gosh, that's perfect, because I shoot off this rock, so it's not going to really change, like, the angles that I use, but I'll be able to get more elevation and hunting pressure reduction. That's huge! Look at this! That's such a good spot for a stand. Let me see if I can position this better to where it's higher. Yeah, we can. That is amazing. Well, that completely changes how we approach this zone. That's going to really help with the hunting pressure. Can I do that down here too? I bet I can. You only do missions occasionally for the cash if you really need it. I think that's how a lot of people feel about them as well, Dusty. I do missions for, like, like if they have a special gun skin, then I'll do it. Because there is some mission lines that have a gun that you can't get if you don't do the missions. Like, for example, on uh, Medved, you have the Grandkin's shotgun. Which actually does have different statistics than the other variations of the 12-gauge. So it gives you a purpose for grinding for it, right? And like on Tiabaroa, you can get the special laminated skin for the 303. So like if there's a purpose to grind, like a, a special gun, or a, a skin for a gun, or... In some cases, if there's like a mission animal, then I totally see it as being worth it. I don't know how this is going to work. Are we even going to have any visibility? I don't think so. Oh, yes we do. Wow. Okay, this is good as well. This is actually really good. Well, this is going to change up the grind a lot. We just got a couple really awesome vantage points from these uh, from these tree stands. That's cool. When do you think you'll play the forest again? Not sure, Murphy. I've been kind of like focused on Call of the Wild since the update's about to hit. We'll get back into Sons of the Forest at some point. Not exactly sure when as of now, though. But at some point, we'll definitely get back into it. I promise. What's the hardest animal to get a great one of? Uh, the black bear knight. Definitely the black bear. Best size 2 to 4 gun? The 243 uh, dids. 243 covers classes 2 to 6, and it's definitely a lot better than um, stuff like the 223. It's really good. We have two males here again. My males have returned, guys. That is awesome. We took a little bit of time to hunt some new zones, and now we've got all of our males back. That's crazy. It's awesome to see, though. We can actually grind a little bit more efficiently now that we've got all our males back. Come on, dude. Don't stay behind them. There's no way I could hit him. Behind her. Toby, thank you for becoming a member on the channel. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the uh, perks that come with that. The emotes, the extra Discord channels, the scrap up uploads on the channel, and all of the other uh, perks that come with it. Thank you so much. Hope you're having a great day. Watching us attempt to get the great one. We got one. Oh, that's... Wait, that's a male? I didn't even realize that was a male. He's so tiny. Okay, the other one did not spook right here. I can probably sink a shot into him. I think what I'm going to do is the 22 trick. Try and get his attention. There we go. Now he's alerted. Come on. Stop moving. Nice. We nailed him. You think they'll add a 22-250? I think it's definitely a possibility. That's a very highly requested caliber. I've seen that caliber and the 17 HMR requested more than anything else for a, a small game rifle. Would be amazing if they added them in. How do you join and become a member? 
Uh, there should be a join button next to the sub button. If there isn't, there's also a link in the description that will bring you to the same page. Have I got a crown wildebeest? I've got two of them, I believe. One of my favorite rares on Verhanga. They look really awesome. Personally, don't want any small game rifles based off the 223. I agree, Johnny. I don't really want any more small game rifles because they've done a really poor job of implementing them in the past. But I, I definitely want, uh, I think just for the purpose of even having it in the game, I wouldn't mind a 22 250. As long as it's more useful than the 22 Hornet. But I don't know, at the same time, I'd much rather have something like a 416 or a 7mm Mod 8. Like, those are a couple guns I'd definitely take before. I think the, uh, the 416 is, like, desperately needed. Because we've seen how the 338 is performing. It's not that great. It's definitely not the 300 Magnum killer that we thought it would be. So I feel like a 416 would be much better. Friend just messed up a diamond wolf. Oh no, blue tick. That's not good. If they do it right, yeah, true. They they would have to do it right for sure. I think that goes for any gun though. I think the 308 was a very rare occasion where they made it more powerful than its real life counterpart. So it is unlikely that if they added a 22250, it would be as good or better than its real life one. But I mean, they've done it once where they made it actually good, and that was the 308. So it's possible they could give it the power it deserves. But yeah, it is very unlikely considering what we've seen with the uh, 223 and the 22 Hornet and a lot of the other small caliber rifles. But we can always hope a 22250 would be cool if it worked properly. What gun is good for black bears? I honestly do think one of the few uses for the new 338 will be black bear. Um, it's not going to be good for stuff like moose because of the penetration issues and also the uh, bullet drop. But for something like a bear, it's actually going to be pretty good, I think. It's going to have a five-round magazine capacity. Bears don't flee super quickly, so you could totally get a couple of them down before they do. I think that's going to be one of the situations where the new 338 is actually really good. Is going to be on the bear grind. We'll have to test it out, though. Look at these monsters. 241 and 245. Couple giants. Where's our great one, man? We've had such good luck today on just, like, big males everywhere, but no great one. Could it be good for lions? Uh, maybe, Ronnie. I, I can see it maybe being good for lions. I'll have to do more testing. Tomorrow, we'll probably test it out on some stuff like lions and uh, some of the other species that we haven't shot with it yet that are within the class range. Only one male. Uh, this can't be all of them. There's got to be more here. We'll just bop him real quick, and then we will reset the time and try to get the rest here. Because I know for a fact there's supposed to be like four males here. Three to four every run. What gun is best for Puma slash Mountain Lion? Um, the new 7mm bolt action will probably be the best for them, to be honest. That and the 308 AR are going to be a couple of the better Mountain Lion rifles. I'm uh, not sure, Christoph. I haven't really paid attention to what the other creators have done with, uh, like, testing with the new rifles. I haven't really had time to watch any other videos. Um, I think I might have shot one or two lions in the first look video. But I can't remember. I don't think I did. There probably was somebody else if someone did do it. Nice, we got both of those. 308 bolt? Uh, the 308 bolt's cool. I don't think it's gonna be like a top contender for like best rifle. But it's definitely not bad. It'll have some use, especially for the people that like a more traditional bolt action rifle instead of a 308 AR. Why would my red deer be respawning in lower levels? I'm assuming that's what you mean. Um, that's just kind of the nature of the game. You're not guaranteed to get them to come back as the same level or higher. Sometimes they will respawn as a smaller one than what you shot. Just uh, part of the way the game works. 
There is a degree of randomness in terms of what you get back. Is the new DLC worth buying? If you want a really strong class 4 to 9 rifle being the 7mm, then yes. I think the 7mm is probably one of the best guns in the game. The fact that it's got a bolt action now is pretty big. Um, but that is the main reason I would buy the new weapon pack is for the 7 mil. 338 is not a necessity. The 300 Magnum does perfectly fine, and in a lot of cases, it's better. So, if your reason for wanting it is the 338, then you're probably, it's probably not going to be worth it for you. But if you, if you like the 7 millimeter single shot, then you're going to love the 7 millimeter bolt action. That's kind of the way I see it. Buy the pack for the 7 mil. And the 338 and the uh, 308, they're kind of just cool guns to use every once in a while. They're not like super game changing. But the uh, the 7mm, that rifle's amazing. Hope someday we get a 7mm semi auto 5 shot. That would be crazy, Johnny. Like, uh, like not a, uh, like an AR, but like a, a 7mm auto loader or something like that. That'd be cool. Like, maybe similar to the type of, like, semi-automatic rifles we would see in Deer Hunter 2005 or some of the old Cabela's games. I could see that being pretty cool. Why do we need the Bolt Action 308? Uh, there was a lot of people that wanted a traditional 308. Uh, believe it or not, there's actually a pretty good portion of the community that doesn't do grinding or anything like that and just kind of roams around and hunts whatever they want to hunt. And, like, that part of the community wanted a traditional 308 bolt action because it's the type of gun they use. There's a lot of people that want to use the rifles they use in real life. And 308 bolt action is a very popular rifle. Like, a very popular rifle. Which is why we ended up getting a 308 bolt action. This was kind of their attempt to fill the uh, need for bolt actions of some of the other guns. Because uh, more people use bolt actions than... Anything else besides maybe ARs. I think ARs are the most popular hunting rifle in the U.S. Or I guess hunting platform. Oh no, Pancake Man. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. That's the worst when that happens. Got a few little females there. I don't really see any males. Unless he's tucked away. Oh, there's one. We do have one male here. Nice. You think you will get the great one this stream? Maybe, Coop. I think there's a chance. We are way above the average kill count for uh, Great One Moose, so... There is a possibility it could happen. Nice, another level four. Yeah, a lot of them do, Andrew. I've got both, personally. I've got an AR as well as a couple bolt actions, and then I've got a, uh, a Browning BAR in 7mm Remington Magnum, which is a uh, internal magazine semi-automatic rifle. But uh, the AR platform is the most widely used hunting platform in the U.S. For pretty much everything, not just hogs. Like, there's a lot of people that use them for everything because it's just a really reliable platform. 350 Legend, that'd be cool. I wouldn't mind a 350 Legend. Same with like 458 SOCOM and 50 Beowulf. There's a lot of uh, a cool calibers that we could get in the game that we don't have currently that are not necessarily like the most popular, but could be really awesome. How is Gerald doing? Uh, we took down Gerald a long time ago, Dusty. When we got our, I believe it was our second or third Great One Red Deer, we took him down. He's in our lodge. As the centerpiece of our Red Deer room. Hey, Evan, how's it going, man? Yeah, rest in pieces, Gerald. But he's got an emote. He's got an emote on the channel, so he lives on. Nice, Ben. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't really know too much about the 350 Legend, to be honest. Well, hello there. I think that's a solo male that just showed up this run. 
There's another male there. I just realized we're actually positioned in one of the best areas to find the straggler solo males. This is an area where a lot of the solos end up. This is actually a phenomenal spot. Where's the other level three? There was a level three that was kind of hanging out in the brush last time. I don't know where he's gone, but he should be close. Who is Gerald? Gerald was a level three red deer that we left on our map during one of our great one grinds. I let everybody in chat name him. And uh, he, he became such a like staple of the grind that we made him into an emote. So that, that, that is why we have a, an emote of a red deer wearing a monocle. We figured since Gerald sounds like such a sophisticated name that it would make sense that we would uh, do an emote with a, a red deer with a monocle on him. He's just kind of looking at you through it like, hmm, I dare say. Y'all are looking dashing. Terrible accent, I know. I probably sucked at that, but, you know, we do what we can. Is Lucky still on Layton? He is uh, DNQ. He is still there. Lucky lives on. Um, I'm not going to run over to this one. That's a long run. That is a waste of time. Need to make a Tennessee map? What is in Tennessee that isn't on, like, current maps? That That's my question with any U.S. map now, is what could be on there that isn't already in game? Like, what type of species, li species list could a Tennessee map have? I don't really know too much about Tennessee. Why is there an emo with a face? That's my face, uh, Zachary. That's like my uh, my shocked face, right? Not really. It's more of like a meme face, but you know, it is what it is. Benjamin, wind mag in real life is powerful for deer up to moose, but I would never use it for caper water buffalo. Yeah, the whole gun system's really weird in this game, JR. There's a lot of like guns that wouldn't be used for something as big as you can in the game, but then there's other ones where you can't use them on species that are like smaller species, but in real life you would totally use it on them. Like you can't use a 22 LR on a raccoon in this game, but that's like the only thing I've ever shot at raccoons with. <laughs> I've only ever used a 22 LR for raccoons in real life, so it's weird we can't use them in Call of the Wild. We used to be able to, and then for some reason they changed it. I don't understand it sometimes. Definitely been some interesting decisions over the years in terms of, like, uh, changes to guns. Don't get me wrong, the whole, like, uh, class system is definitely better than it was when the game first released. Um, the whole scoring system before where you had to get like quick kill and you were very limited on like what guns could do that It did make it even more limited unless you were really good at spine shots and brain shots But I think the current system is better than that, but it's still not great There's a lot that could be done to improve it But uh, it doesn't detract from the fact that this is still an awesome game and I still love it And I think that's something that uh, some people, when they're critiquing the game, forget to mention. Like, we may we may give the game some crap for some stuff that they do wrong, but it doesn't mean we don't love the game. I still love the crap out of this game, but uh, it definitely has some things that could be improved over time. And I mean, recently they have been improving some stuff. I mean, we finally have loadouts in the game. They're finally adding a free trophy lodge. They did a lot of, uh, like, balancing changes. Or not balancing, but a lot of, like, a... Uh, Adding animals to older maps the last update they've made some good changes recently And I hope this means that in the future we'll get even more good changes Definitely seems like they've been stepping up the whole like free content uh, Changes that we've seen they've been adding a lot more free content recently, which is nice Oh my gosh, this angle is so good <laughs> Oh, this was such a good idea getting this tree stand here. This is gonna make hunting the zone so much better Man, oh Yeah, the Mosin was so good a few years ago. It was like the only gun you ever needed 242 not bad There's a little level three. Let's see how the tree stand works on this one. I hope it's just as good as that one. 
Uh, yeah, honestly, kid, there's a lot of limitations on YouTube. Actually, they kind of loosened it up, but on YouTube, I, I try to keep it family friendly. But in real life, yes, I, I do say a lot more stuff than I would on stream. And I'm going to tell you right now, pretty much every YouTuber that um, does like family friendly content, they probably are a little bit different in real life. Because it's real life, right? It's a lot different than uh, having to follow guidelines on a platform. YouTube has a lot of restrictions in terms of what you can do and say. They did actually loosen it up recently, but I, I try to keep all my content family friendly so that everybody can watch. Because not everybody's allowed to watch content that's not like family friendly. And I get that, which is why I chose to be family friendly on my channel. Because I, I want everybody to be able to watch. I don't want people to have to turn out, turn off just because I say stuff they're not allowed to hear, you know? What free trophy lodge? We're getting a free trophy lodge with the next update, Funk Bros. Tomorrow, actually. We're going to be getting the update tomorrow, and it includes a free trophy lodge. It's a very limited trophy lodge, though, so that's one thing to keep in mind. You're only going to be able to mount one of each animal on Hirschfelden and Leighton, and then you'll have one mount where you can put whatever you want on it. It's meant to be kind of like an entry-level trophy lodge, but it will not cost money unlike the other two, so... It's still a really good step in the right direction, though I wish there was more functionality with it. Hey, Max, how's it going, dude? Uh, no, Aussie Kid, I haven't. Just view it as a knockoff way of the Hunter Lodge. I, I guess I could see that, Johnny. Personally, I think the good, like, um, what's it called? Like, a good middle ground would be let's say they want to keep the the current limitations of like you can only have one of each animal and then they have like the mount that anything can go on i think a good middle ground and i've mentioned this a few times would be to make it so you can purchase like a wall in the trophy lodge that has mounts that you can put anything on like make it so we can purchase up to 15 extra platforms that any animal can go on that's what i really really want to see Make it so if you want to spend in-game currency, you can get yourself some more mounts. I think that's reasonable, right? And it would give people a reason to grind the game. And as a developer, wouldn't they want people to be incentivized to play the game more to try and earn money to, like, add to their trophy lodge? I, I feel like it's a win-win. It would incentivize people to play the game more, and it would reward the players that do play the game more. By giving you more places to put your trophies. I, I really feel like it's a win-win situation. And it still wouldn't be as insane as like the paid lodges, right? Because it would only be like 15 or 20 extra mounts you could use, but it would give enough to where you'd still have places to put all the trophies you wanted that are not the, the base game species. Just seems really strange the route they took with whole like uh, limiting what you can put there and not having any way to get more mounts. Just seems a bit too limiting to me. Though I guess I do appreciate that they even added it into the game. Because they, they definitely didn't have to. So it is cool that they added a free lodge. Because they very well could have just left it at paid lodges. So I appreciate the work that went into doing it. But I, I definitely think it could be improved in the future. Come on, Mr. Moosey. Down he goes. Uh, yeah, Stinger. I picked one winner for the giveaway. I can't remember if it was the PlayStation or Xbox uh, winner. I think it was the Xbox winner, if I'm not mistaken. I picked one of the comments earlier today. I still got to go through and uh, look for all of the winners, though. Because I still got to pick out a winner for the PlayStation gift card as well as the Steam gift card. Fifty to sixty-five mounts and limited to one lodge would have been good. 
Yeah, that wouldn't have been too bad, Tyson. I think Sasiki Safari has like 150 mounts or even more, maybe. So, yeah, I, I could see like between like 30 and 50 mounts being like a good a good area for the free lodge to be in. Where did this guy go down? Um, I'm gonna need the dog to chase after this one. Show us, Hunter. Where is the trophy? I know that you know. Cause you're like a tracking machine. Wait, where did he go? Hunter? He disappeared! What? Um... There he is, there he is. <laughs> I swear, it's so easy to lose the dog. They need to make it easier, man. You know what? I'm gonna add the dog icon. I think that's a thing, right? I can't remember if it actually is good at tracking him, though. Wait. No, I do have that on. I mean, I guess we can look on the map. It's just kind of uh, rough to have to open the map every time. There's our little moose. It's like 180 in Sasiki. Yeah, that's a lot of mounds. Yeah, I, I feel if they kept it sub 50 for the uh, the free lodge, that would be like perfectly fine balance. It would still give you enough mounts to put up a lot of cool trophies. I really hope they take into consideration the suggestion of making it so you can unlock more mounts by playing the game. Really hope that's something they add in the future. It would be really good for the free lodge, I think. But, uh, we'll see. We will see what they do. But while I'm thinking it, how are all of you guys doing? Are you enjoying the stream? Are you, uh, playing Call of the Wild right now? And if so, what you, what you, what have you got recently? Are you excited for the update? Let me know your thoughts. What's my favorite map? Tiawaroa is my favorite map, Kingston. Nice, unlimited, good to hear. Nice, Riley. Hey, Kate, how's it going, dude? Can a 10 Fable troll? No, they cannot troll. A 10 Fable will always score a great one unless you mess up the shot, then it'll be a gold instead. Do a quick little main menu. Think there should be bear slash bison fur mounts. Ooh, that would be cool. Like, oh, actually, I like that idea. Like, maybe if you get a rare, like a rare bison, right, you have the option to put it as like a rug on the floor. Oh my gosh, that'd be cool. Like a bear rug or a bison rug. Dude, I think you're onto something, man. I think you're onto something. Like, not just like mounting the fur on the wall, but also being able to use it as a rug. That would be so cool for the trophy lodge. Like a, a bear rug. And then, like, imagine, like, you get one of the fabled Great One Bears, right? You could make, like, a, a, a rug out of the fur. Imagine having a fabled spirit fur rug. That'd be crazy. Uh, it's not really my kind of game, Will. Starting my Great One Grind any... Or Great One Whitetail Grind any tips? Um, what map are you hunting on, Seth? You have a piebald rug? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. That'd be pretty cool. I like that idea a lot. One male there. Just one male. Better than nothing, I guess, right? Nice, dropping in that little hard shot there. Let's see if there's any more. Uh, like I've said on every other previous run, there's usually two herds here. So I know for a fact there's got to be more males than just that guy. Where are they, though? Imagine they just disappeared. I mean, two time resets and we haven't had any more show up. That's a little concerning. Uh, that's actually a lot concerning. <laughs> Lewis, thank you for the super sticker, dude. Really appreciate it. 
Thank you so much. Uh, no, Banks, we don't do herd management anymore. We've done pretty good without it, though. Gotta say, we've actually got more diamonds recently. But that's probably just a luck streak. But yeah, we haven't been doing it for a while, man. I think it's been like three or four months since we stopped doing it. Just got out of the shower. What did I miss? You missed a couple of diamonds as well as... A couple level fours that got really close to diamond. It's been a wild day. We finally got some diamonds. Yesterday we had six trolls in a row. Which was pretty bad. And then today we've actually had a lot of them make diamond. Which is really nice. Nice turnaround from yesterday's stream. What made me quit HM? Uh, just the arguing throughout the community. Uh, there was a lot of people that... um. There was a lot of arguments between people like saying like half the community thought it was amazing and like the the new meta for grinding the other half of the community saw it as being like an exploit and they hated it and I just didn't want to contribute to like the arguing anymore not to mention I had a couple people that just completely cut ties with me because I was doing it people that I used to consider friends and no it's not like anybody IRL it's like internet friends right but like still it, it, there were some people that just stopped talking to me because I was doing it and that was kind of when it like struck me that If it's causing this much problems, it can't be good for me to continue doing But I I, I do want to reiterate that if you like it do it. I just have to look at it differently because I am a content creator and Yeah, that's really all there is to it because I'm a content creator. I got to look at it a little bit differently sometimes but I have no problems with people doing it. Yeah, that's kind of the way I see it now, Carrie. But yeah, the biggest reason is I just, I just didn't want to contribute to the like division in the community. I want everybody to just have fun with the game and like enjoy what they're doing, right? And that was always my thing is I've always just wanted people to enjoy what they're doing and have fun with the game and... It was just getting to the point where it was, it was almost becoming like politics, man. It was like two different sides arguing all the time. So that's why I stopped doing herd management. I don't have any problems with people doing it. But uh, yeah, I just stopped doing it because it was really starting to feel like it was like a, a politics situation. Like two different sides arguing about everything. And I didn't want to contribute to that. Because as you guys know, I'm very positive here on the channel. I always try to take a positive view on everything. And be like as I've always had the mindset of you guys can play the way you want and if you have fun with it then go for it as long as you're not like downloading cheats and cheating then it's fine you know the only thing I've ever really been against is like straight on cheating have I ever went turkey hunting I haven't uh, hunter Bobo I have not went uh, turkey hunting before I've hunted for blacktail deer as well as Roosevelt elk, but never really had any luck getting any. Yeah, yeah, definitely, Carrie. I can see that for sure. And yeah, for a while, like, I was questioning, like, why is, like, some, like, a, a way that I'm playing the game, like, making people have such a negative reaction? And I didn't really notice how bad it was until I started digging through, like, the discords of other people. Like, the discords of other content creators and saw, like, some of the stuff that people were saying about the people that did it. And it just really, like, turned me off from wanting to use it. It's like, is this really the way people view it? So, yeah, that's why we kind of stopped and... We've still done fine since. And I think at this point we've kind of proven that it doesn't affect great ones. Which I'm happy about, because I had always said that it didn't affect Great Ones, just based on my experience, and we've continued on grinding, and our last two Whitetail grinds were the same kill counts as before, so that is a nice thing to see. Great one yet, sadly no, Legend. We're on a really bad streak for the Moose. Right now, I think we're at above the uh, average kill count for Great One Moose. Most people get a Great One Moose in one to 2,000 kills, we're over 3,000 now since our last great one. It's crazy. Yeah, unfortunately, Johnny. It just hurts when it's people that you thought were friends, right? 
And for those of you curious, no, it's not Kill Clinton. KC, from the beginning, said that he doesn't care what I do, even if he disagrees with it, so... Because I know some people had that speculation. It's not Kill Clinton, I promise. We're still cool with things. There, There's never been a time where he said that I, like, shouldn't do what I want to do, right? We've always been cool, even if we disagree on a lot of topics. And that's one of the things that I've always, um... I guess respected about him is he can disagree with me heavily and still see me as a friend. Not a lot of people will do that. Exactly, Carrie, exactly. I just wish everybody could look at it through that type of lens, right? That you can disagree and still uh, still see somebody as a friend. Like, part of the reason why I, I've collabed with him and played with him more than anybody else is because, like, we can have, like, crazy disagreements and still, like, uh, still be friends at the end of the day. You got 1,526 moose kills. Jeez, Ben. Getting up there. Getting up there, man. Roughly 220, bows, Like, around 220. 220 meters, that is. What's the one great one for that I want for this next one? Uh, Fabled Birch and Fabled Two-Tone. Like, those are my two most wanted. You know what's crazy is the Fabled Two-Tone used to be my second least favorite. And over the months, it's grown on me quite a bit. I actually really like the Two-Tone now. And to be honest, I, I kind of hope that I get a Two-Tone. Like, Fabled Birch is my number one favorite, but part of me really wants to get a Fabled Two-Tone with the typical rack. I think that combination is just so beautiful. Yeah, definitely, Bob. Definitely. For sure, man. I can agree with that. How many kills does it usually take to get a great one moose? Um, the average that I've kind of uh, gathered throughout the community, it, obviously this is not a 100% confirmed number, right? Because there, there's no way to know exactly. But based on what I've seen throughout the community, whether you're using herd management or not, the average seems to be between 1 and 2,000 kills. Between 1,000 and 2,000. Some people it takes a lot longer, others get it much quicker. But the average seems to be between 1 and 2,000. I think most people that I've seen get a great one get it within, like, 1,500 kills. In fact, uh, CJO got his great one, Moose, today. And I believe he said that he got it in 420 kills, but I think his title said 1,400. So I think that was a typo. I think he got it in 1,420, which seems about average. That's a very uh, normal kill count for the great one, Moose. It's same for Whitetail, too. Whitetail are usually sub-2,000. We're on a very bad luck streak right now for, uh... Oh, it was 419 on Rev? Oh, wow. Oh, got you, Caitlin. Okay, so the 400... That's insane. Yeah, that that's crazy. That That is crazy. So yeah, the Great One Moose definitely shows up faster than a lot of species, but to be honest, I think it balances out quite a bit because it's harder to get a lot of moose kills than it is like Whitetail or Red Deer. Whitetail and Red Deer tend to take more kills to get, but you can also find more of them faster because there's just in general more Red Deer and Whitetail. And then uh, Black Bear and Moose, you don't see nearly as many of them. Yeah, Ben, pretty much. Sounds about right. Nothing there. Let's go ahead and reset the time. Possibly one of these days, uh, McColb. Uh, the thing about collaborations is you also have to, like, get the other person to notice you exist. I tried to send Kendall an email, and he hasn't seen it, so... Uh, in terms of collaborations, I can't promise anything because I haven't even got a response from him. 
I don't blame him though. He probably gets a lot of emails every day, so it's probably pretty likely that he doesn't see all of them. Because I know for a fact I, I don't get to read every email I get. All right, real quickly, while we're waiting for these moves, I'm going to go take a restroom break, guys. I will be ra be back very, very shortly. I'm back. Sorry, guys. I uh, took a little bit longer than I thought because my wife just got home from uh, uh, helping her mom look at a place to possibly move into. So I was chatting with them for a couple minutes. I bet it did, Bentley. I bet it did. Let me guess. It was the uh, the fabled red spotted piebald variation of the Great One Duck. I bet it was. On oh, my uh, my mouse was like the cord, like went up into an area that was getting in the way when I was trying to move my mouse. I had to push the cord back. We're good now. <laughs> Where's these males, dude? No males. All right, we're just going to move on to the next zone. This zone's being stubborn. 
Nothing like the fabled fox squirrel? I know, right? It was a great one, tree. I should have known. Those great one trees are everywhere, dude. If I could go anywhere in the world, where would it be? New Zealand, because I want to I want to go on a New Zealand red deer hunt. <laughs> no, are you telling me that wasn't vitals? Rude. I'm telling you, these brute these moose are very rude sometimes. Just not taking hard shots. Like, come on, man. Fabled piebald great one Euro rabbit in Russia. Hey, I'd believe you, man. If you told me you got one of those, I'd totally believe it. <laughs> oh man. Also, guys, we uh I just posted a YouTube short. I had one scheduled for six o'clock, so would really appreciate it if you guys take a second to go uh jump to the YouTube short and uh watch it and then come back to the stream. The first like 30 minutes of a video or short are the most important in terms of uh Deciding whether or not YouTube wants to share it to other people. So would really appreciate if you guys go check out the YouTube short real quickly and then come back to the stream. That would be absolutely amazing. You don't have to, but it is a massive help. And it's kind of a funny short as well. First time I've ever seen a moose's antlers like disconnect from its head while it's alive. <laughs> Nothing there. Little reset and we'll see if any if anything's here. 30 minutes short? No, it's not a 30 minute short. It's like 30 seconds probably. It's a very short short. You ever had a short YouTube short? A short short? Thank you, Captain Cool. Really appreciate it. Come on, Mr. Moosey, level four, looking good. Now turn to me so that I can put a nice little bullet right there in the chest. Boom. Down he goes onto the ground. What about this guy? Missed the heart, but that is a vital hit. Can we hit one of these as well? I think we hit high on those. Not gonna lie, I think we hit high. And considering I just made a video on how to hit hard shots on moose, not good that I'm missing these shots. <laughs> Imagine somebody comes from the video where I'm like uh, teaching everybody how to hit a hard shot on a moose, and the first thing they see is me miss like four hard shots. <laughs> Ah, uh, there should be one, Connor. If you go to the uh, the channel, right, and then go to the shorts tab, it should be the most recent short that shows up. Welcome back, Clager. How you doing? Moose antlers be flying away. I know, right? It's always hilarious when that type of thing happens because you just don't expect it. You don't expect the antlers to disconnect from the moose you're looking at. Come on, Hunter. Let's find the... Oh, there it is. That's the moose right there. I don't even need Hunter to track it anymore. It's right here. Easy. Nice little level four. Honestly, those were two of the smallest level fours we've had all day. Crazy. Never seen that happen to a moose. I think that was the first time I've had it happen to one that was still alive. I've seen like a, a dead moose have its antlers kind of like off to the side, but I've never seen that on an alive moose. Let's get Hunter on the trail and then we'll grab the ATV and follow him. Oh, gotcha, Glazier. Uh, yes, CB, I'm not a fan of the 338. In my first impressions video, I don't know why, but for some reason I thought it was better. But yeah, after testing it further, it I, I don't like it. I don't like the 338 over the 300. 300 is definitely my go-to still. Except for specific situations. For Black Bear, I'm definitely using the 338. And I think I'll probably use it for Eurobison. 
But it's definitely not as good as I originally thought it would be. It's pretty sad to see because it's supposed to be based off of a 338 Lapua, which would be a really good round if they made it true to life. And nothing else there, I don't think. Our dog isn't finding anything. The moose was shedding his antlers, yes, and then reattaching them, and then shedding them again, and then reattaching them. It was something else. I don't even know what to call it. Thank you, Connor. Really appreciate it. Um, the developer said it's based off 338 Lapua, but it kind of behaves like the 338 Win Mag. That's the thing that I don't understand about it, Dakota. Like, they said it was 338 Lapua, but it clearly is behaving like a 338 Win Mag. Really strange. If it was 338 Lapua, it would shoot flatter, it would have better penetration, it would just be better in general. But currently, with how the 338 is performing, it's much more in line with what a 338 wind mag would do. But the, apparently the single shot rifle is based off of a 338 Lapua. So it is kind of strange how they did it. Thank you, fun times. I appreciate that, dude. Great one yet? No, no great one today, but we did get, I believe, three diamonds, so it's been a solid day. No great one, but three diamonds and a lot of giant level fours. Definitely the best day we've had in a while. Yesterday was brutal getting six trolls and no diamonds. So we're bouncing back from yesterday's stream, at least. One male there. Where's all the males that normally respawn here? We're only seeing like one or two each run now. Definitely some weird stuff happening with our moose. Could that mean great one? Probably not, but it's fun to think that it could be. <laughs> How long did it take me to get my diamond feral pig? A little bit over 150 kills, I believe, Connor. But that's not counting like all the times I got trolled by one in multiplayer. Yeah, there's only like one male every time here now. Some strange stuff happening to our moose, that's for sure. Um, yeah, Joe, so the giveaway that we were doing on the European Bison video, uh, I picked a winner for the Xbox card. I haven't picked a winner for the PlayStation or Steam card yet. I gotta go through more comments tonight. There's like 410 comments on that video. It's gonna take a while to go through everything. Especially since I've got a lot of time dedicated to streaming and making videos right now as well. It's hard to balance all the time out. Did you miss anything in the last 30 minutes? Not really, Fox. Last 30 minutes has been kind of just, uh, we were figuring out what we wanted to do with a couple of our tents as well as just getting some stands set up in better positions. We've done a lot of reorganizing our grind and just shooting some average size uh, threes and fours. What gun am I using? I'm using the 300 Magnum Deer Slayer. Really good gun. Hey Noah, how's it going, man? We've got, I believe, three diamonds on the stream, which is definitely a step up from the six trolls we got yesterday. <laughs> But it seems like the streak has cooled down a little bit. We had a lot of giants showing up, and now I'm not getting a lot. In fact, there's no males here even. What is going on? Definitely strange we're suddenly not seeing hardly any males, and they're all small. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. What kind of phone do I have? I've got a, I believe it's a Galaxy S20 FE. I decided to go with that one because it's a lot cheaper than the newer ones and it, supposedly it's better. Suppos supposedly it's got more features than, than the newer Samsungs. 
Or at least better value, I should say. No, Izon, it's not cheating. Um, some people would consider it exploiting, but it's not cheating because it's part of the game. I guess you could sit, you could consider it uh, similar to like exit camping and escape from Tarkov, right? It's a it's a perfectly fine thing to use, but not everybody agrees with it. That's essentially how I consider uh, HM. One of those things where not everybody approves of it, but it, it's fine to use. It's part of the game. The devs haven't spoke out against it, so you can use it for sure. How many kills delete a zone? Four, TJ. If you shoot four animals in a zone without like a stand or anything, it will like create enough hunting pressure to delete the zone. What's up with our moose zones? They've suddenly just stopped showing up. Something weird's happening. I kind of feel like I need to restart my game. Um, it's explained in the video, Shadow Wolf. It's very simple. You just go to the European Bison video and uh, type in the comments what video idea you would like to see me do. And then whichever video I think is the most unique and different from everybody else's will be the winner. That's uh, essentially the quick way of explaining it. Yeah, Toby, that, that's totally understandable, dude. I, I, I could say it definitely does improve diamond chances, but I don't think it improves great one chances. That's my take on it. I feel like it clearly gives you way more diamonds. I was getting a diamond every 20 kills when I was hunting red deer with HM. Um, but it doesn't improve great one spawns as far as I'm concerned. I've seen nothing that indicates that. Uh, in fact, my, two, my first two HM red deer grinds were longer than my first two non-HM grinds. And for Whitetail, my grinds have been the same length no matter what I'm doing. Cameron, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing amazing. Have I considered the winner yet? I haven't gone through all the comments yet, Blake. So if you haven't commented, be sure to go through and uh, do that. I picked out the Xbox winner already, but I haven't picked out the PlayStation or Steam winner. So those are still available. Um, accidentally typing here. There's a moose right there. Uh, Cameron, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing, man. Thank you so much for the $2, dude. Do I have every diamond in the game? I've got most of them, but I'm missing a couple of them. Yeah, Shadow, it is. It's the uh, the European Bison video I posted a couple days ago. That is the one where the giveaway is being done. And yeah, I still haven't chose the PlayStation or Steam winner. I've already chose the Xbox winner. But uh, yeah, if you're on PlayStation or PC, there's still a chance to win that uh, gift card. I'm probably going to go through more of the comments tonight after I get done with this stream. I still got to record a video though, so I don't know how much I'll get through. Up, oh, Tipsy Crow activating, accidentally hitting buttons I didn't mean to. <sighs> oh man. Thank you, Eyes on I try, man. It's all that time I've spent playing this game. It's only six o'clock. It is kind of crazy. Honestly, like that, that's wild that it's only six o'clock. We've only been streaming for like three hours. That's a decent looking four there. Let's hop up in that stand and smoke him real quick. Yeah. I think that's a good plan. 
We also have this one. How long is the stream? Probably another hour, Toby. I usually, uh, whenever I'm doing like hardcore grinding like this, I try to do four to five hour streams. We've been going for three hours now, so we'll go for at least another hour. I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, typically, whenever we do these long uh, grinding streams and you guys are enjoying it, it tends to make me enjoy it more as well. Been having quite a bit of fun today. Just comment on the video. Nice, Coop. I'll probably see it when I go through everything tonight. Hey, Connor, how's it going, dude? Is it still live? Yes, we are still live, Kane. I can confirm. I am still live and alive. Well, tell him I'm glad that he enjoys the channel, Connor. Have you got a great one yet? Nothing yet, Trevor, but we got three diamonds today, which is pretty amazing. Uh, we've hit a kind of a dry streak, though. We got those three diamonds pretty early in the stream, and I think it's been at least 30 or 40 kills since the last one. We had a run where we got a lot of big males, and then out of nowhere, just everything kind of slowed down. Hopefully, we can pick it back up soon and get something good. Oh. Oh, that's a decent one. That's not bad. That's a good four. Let's hop up in the, the beautiful tree stand we have set up here and see what we can do for this guy. There's two males here. That guy's a, a puny little guy, but we'll try to get him if we can. We'll smoke the four first, and then if we can get the two as well, then we will. Boom, and boom. I think we hit him, but it's not vitals. Oh, yeah, it is. It's vitals. Nice. Come on. Give me another shot. Ah, uh, actually, he's going to... He, he's dead. Okay, didn't even need a second shot. Hey, Bayou Boy Hunting, how's it going, dude? Welcome to the channel. I told you the great one to show up. I, I hope you're right, Ashley. I hope this great one will show up soon. It'd be amazing if it would. Later, McCullough. Thank you for being here, dude. Always appreciate the support as always. Without all of you watching, the channel would not be where it is. So thank you so much for being here. Favorite hunting YouTuber? I don't really watch a lot of hunting YouTubers, uh, CV. Um, to be honest, as as somebody who does like uh, Call of the Wild content, after playing Call of the Wild so much, it kind of burns you out of wanting to watch any content related to the game. I don't really watch any videos relating to Call of the Wild or even real life hunting. Uh, just because I, I do so much of it myself here. Most of the time when I watch YouTube, it's more like uh, like funny funny videos, right? Like General Sam or Penguin Zero, also known as Moist Critical. Like that that's the type of content I watch whenever I'm watching YouTube. Or stuff like uh, Churdly's. I watch a lot of like comedy related content. I think the same goes for most YouTubers, or most, uh, most uh, Call of the Wild YouTubers don't really watch Call of the Wild content because they make it so much. Grab the turtle! Exactly, Caitlin. Turtles is hilarious. That dude knows what's up in terms of like what is uh, funny. Very unique style of comedy, but it works. It works. Really, bro? You're just gonna sit behind that female and just just pretend that you're not there? And now you turn when she gets okay, okay. This dude this this dude knows exactly what he's doing. He's hiding behind her. Oh. Oh, not so smart anymore, huh? Boom! Take that. Not so tough now, are you? Hey Ace, how's it going, dude? I'm doing very good. I hope you're doing good as well. Ow! Ow! 
Get out of my tent. What? Oh, what the? She disappeared. <laughs> like, what? That's not her over there. That's a different one. She disappeared. Man, I'm tripped out now. I, I don't... <laughs> let's move on. Oh, my gosh. Traumatizing me. These moves have some sort of, like, weird powers I don't even want to know about. <laughs> We were supposed to do one today, Emerson, but unfortunately, um, he had some stuff come up, so we weren't able to do it. Um, we're, we're gonna try and reschedule to a different day, though. We'll make the collab happen, it just might be a little bit later than what we had hoped. But yeah, I talked to Didi today, and he said that today wasn't gonna work for recording, so... We, uh, we rescheduled... Well, we'll do it on a different day. I'm not sure what day we'll do it, but... We will get it done eventually. The moose defy all laws of physics. They definitely do. They they got some weird stuff going on. These moose might be possessed. Not gonna lie. Might be slightly possessed. Oh, there we go. There's a male. That herd was not there when I looked over there the first time. They just randomly show up out of nowhere. Nice, we got the hard shot. Can we pull it off on one of these? Oh, that guy's looking good. Oh, another hard shot. Can we get it on this guy? No, no. I'm not that good. We did okay, but like, I'm not that good to where I can hit all of them. Just most of them. Uh, Kendall's pretty cool, Darth. I've seen a few of his videos. He, d he has a good sense of humor from what I've seen. Definitely knows what he's doing in terms of, like, uh, content creation. Got six pie balls and a mellow duck yesterday. Nice, Cameron. That's awesome. Thank you so much for the super chat. Hope you're doing great. Really appreciate that, man. First thing you're shooting with the 338 is bears, Ben. I uh, yeah, I'd say that's probably the best use for it. It'll probably be the same for me. I'm gonna hunt bears with it. What time does this DLC drop? It should be 2.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Caitlin. So, like, uh, 5.30 Eastern Time? It'll be pretty early as most of their releases are. Got a diamond blue wildebeest. Nice, Kane. That's awesome, dude. How to become a moderator? Um, being a close friend of mine or a moderator for another content creator. That's pretty much the uh, criteria for being a moderator on the channel. I, I don't really mod too many people. I have to know you pretty closely or else I won't do it. Because of the fact that you get the ability to like ban people, right? So I, I don't give moderator to people that aren't like close friends or that I've known for a long time. What are some tips for your red deer grind? Um, I mean, obviously hunt around water, hunt their drink time. Uh, search as much of the map as you can to make sure you've found all of your drink zones. There's not really too much else I can say without knowing like the specifics of your grind. Like what map are you grinding? Um, how are you grinding? It's hard to, it's hard to say, man. It's hard to give specific uh, info and like tips on a great one grind without knowing like what you're doing. But yeah, I, th I think the biggest things are just don't shoot it. Just don't shoot a zone down to like one animal. Try not to delete it with hunting pressure. Um, search as much of the water as you can to make sure you find all your zones. Like the general tips that you'd get for any great one grind, right? When am I starting the stream tomorrow? I'm going to be starting the stream at 10 a.m. The stream is going to go from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. hopefully. 
depending on how things go, like I said earlier, might end up ending sooner than 12 hours, depending on like when my daughter wants to go to sleep and um, if she's behaving, I, I obviously don't want to have my wife have to deal with her if she's not behaving properly, so depending on how she behaves and when she goes to sleep, that will determine how long the stream is, but we're going to go for at least eight hours. We can at least do eight hours, I feel. So from 10 to at the very minimum 6 p.m. But probably clear until 10 p.m. provided everything goes right. Hello, Mr. Moosey. When should tomorrow's stream start in EST? It would be 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10, 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. In general, like if, if I say Pacific Standard Time, just add three hours and that's the Eastern Time. Come on, great one! No. Guys, I don't know what we're doing wrong. Where's the great one? <laughs> I can't believe we haven't had a great one moose in over 3,000 kills now. That's insane. That That is just insane. We're far above the average for great one moose. What do we got to do to get this thing to spawn? I don't even know. We got to get this thing soon, man. What do you mean, Crow? That is the great one. You're right. That, that level two equals great one. I, uh, I agree. <laughs> uh, yeah, Caitlin, I know you're pretty far into your bear grind too, right? Uh, yeah, Dexy, uh, to be honest, like most great one grinds, regardless of whether you're doing herd management or not. It's pretty much the same thing, right? Just find as many zones as you can and hunt them from the second you find them and then pay attention to what zones are consistent. That's what I do, right? So we've got over 100 zones on Medven. Medved. Some of them are solo zones, right? So you can eliminate those usually. Let's say you have like 60 zones that have a full herd of like three to five. As you're hunting them, just pay attention to which zones always get their respawn. The zones that always get a respawn are the zones you're going to want to make your main zones. And that goes for like whatever grinding style you use. You always want to choose the most consistent zones as your main zones, whether you're doing herd management or if you're shooting everything. It's important to pick the most consistent zones. Because that will make your grind so much smoother if you just... Uh, pay attention to which zones always get their respawns and never like fail to get their respawns if that makes sense No Connor, we're just internet friends, right? Um, I met I actually met Caitlin through uh, Kill Clinton's stream. She was a moderator for him and uh, eventually became a moderator for me. Ended up uh, chatting with her and KC and then people like Brobra and Hollow Crow. And after doing like some games and stuff, we became friends. Been friends with them for quite a while at this point. Give him a fist bump? Oh yeah, Johnny will definitely give me a fist bump. And he usually- Yep, true, Caitlin. I forgot- Where has he been? I haven't seen Blitz in chat in literally months. Where has that guy gone? Feels like he doesn't even exist anymore. He hasn't been around in months. Can we get this moose? We actually have two moose here that are uh, males for once. 
Yeah, this zone's honestly pretty cool. I kind of like this zone. Being able to shoot them from elevation is huge, man. It's huge being able to see them from up here. Uh, BSA Latino, that's insane, dude. 30 kills for a great one? That's crazy. That's got to be like one of the fastest great one kills ever. It's very rare that you get a sub 100 uh, great one. Sorry there, guys. I actually started yawning like mid-sentence there. Bro's getting tired. <laughs> Hashtag dad life, am I right? <laughs> oh, man. For those not aware, I'm a couple drinks in right now, so I may start acting loopy. But you know what they say, you're more honest, so like, at least you guys know that I'm genuine. <laughs> oh, we are aware. <laughs> hey, I think that's, that's one of the good things about uh, having a couple drinks on stream, Caitlin. At least people know who you are, right? They know if you're being truthful. <laughs> There we go. We got that mail right there. Let's see if we can get anything at the crater. Honestly, the crater is my favorite zone right now. I really feel like the crater is my favorite zone. Oh, I don't, Joe. I've actually got a um, a major fear of like vomiting, so I, I never get I never get too deep into it, right? Because I I do have a major fear of uh, vomiting. And honestly, like, for the longest time as a kid, I thought that was, like, I thought I was weird for being like that, and then I looked it up, and apparently, like, a very large population, a very large part of the population have that same fear. I didn't know that. Like, it, apparently, it's a very common thing to be afraid of. Like, you throw a spider in front of me, eh, whatever. You, like, tell me I'm gonna throw up, I, I might just, like, go psychotic and die. <laughs> Some people are afraid of spiders, others are afraid of, uh, throwing up, you know? Yeah, Toby, like, it's just one of those things where it's not pleasant. Yeah, Johnny, I, I haven't, I haven't thrown up since I was seven years old, and I'm 24 now, so... It, it is a pretty crazy streak that I've been on. Like, I will go to extreme measures to make sure that I don't. It's pretty, uh, pretty crazy. <laughs> but hey, whatever gets you through life, right? Everybody's got their things that they hate in life, and you just gotta find ways to get past them and get through it. And I can tell you right now, if there's something you're afraid of, there's a pretty good chance there's a lot of people that are afraid of that as well. So don't feel like you're uh, isolated or alienated because of a specific fear there's a good chance there's a lot of people that feel the same way oh no Aussie kid that's not good man that's that's not a good sign you should probably get that looked at I hope you're okay dude where am I located uh medved taiga in like the crater that's where I'm located Yeah, same coins. It's always something that I've hated just because it doesn't feel good at all. Like, it feels terrible. I just remembered, like, a as a kid when I was, like, six, seven years old, like, it was traumatic, so I just didn't... I, I never wanted to do it again, and somehow I've managed to stay away from it, like, ever since then. Bro, be a snowman. I mean, I live in Medved, so... Wouldn't be surprised if there was enough snow to make me look like a snowman. Oh, I didn't know that, Tyson. In that case, I better not. <laughs> I remember that, Johnny. That was bad. Like, that was really rough to watch. I'm pretty sure that was the same, um... The same, like, sickness that I had during the last time that I ever threw up. It was back in 2013. Okay, that, that would have been after I stopped doing it then. 
But yeah, I, I remember that and it, it was pretty brutal to watch. I remember we were like concerned that like you were going to get dehydrated or something. Definitely not fun. Guys, I already can't see straight and like I still got a few sips left. Help me! Help me! If we find a great one right now, it's probably going to be the most ridiculous reaction you guys have ever seen to a great one. <laughs> I don't even know what I'll do. I'll probably like scream and like throw my headset across the room or something. <laughs> oh, there's a tree stand right there. Stands are a thing. Huh? Huh? Anything? No? no? Wow, the rudest moose of all time. No males. Okay, we're main menuing. We gotta get some males there. I got water right next to me, Caitlin. Don't worry, I got the water. Why do you only have does in your whitetail zones? You're probably not finding all your whitetail zones, Coop. They, you should have around 60 to 75 whitetail zones. And if you find all of them, you will never have only does. I promise you. You will always have zones with bucks if you find all of them. I'm going to tell you one thing. It's not easy to find all of your zones. It takes tons of time. I think I spent over a hundred hours looking for all my 70 whitetail zones. It's not something that happens quickly. You, you gotta just persist and try to find them all. Uh, once again, nothing here. Let's move to the next zone. Nice, Carter. Nice. <laughs> yeah, Johnny. 99 great ones on the wall. Or in this case, 27. Can we add a 28th? I don't know. I I so hope that we get a great one within the next day or two. Like, I, I feel like at this point, we're just grinding to get nothing. Like, we're way above the average kill count for great one moose. What is happening? We're getting so many fives, but no great one. So many fives. We got one piebald yesterday. How do we not have a great one by now? I so I just so badly want a special fur type great one. Like, I have three great one moose, but all of them are common furs. So they're just not as cool as the people that have the uh the the fabled fur types. Like, I really want a fabled fur type. Just give me a fabled birch or a fabled two-tone or a fabled oak or Honestly, any of them at this point. Just give me something with a cool fur type. It just drives me crazy that I don't have one in my lodge. And this is the reason I keep grinding. There's always something that I still need to get. The curse of being a completionist. I always feel like I gotta get everything. Like with the white tail, it's it's that typical rack. I still don't have it. With the moose, it's all of the rare fur types. I mean, they're not really rare, but like all of the fabled fur types, I guess. We still don't have the fabled fur types. There's always something to grind for in Call of the Wild, I swear. I guess that's part of the reason why it's been such a popular game and why people can play it for so long. Nothing over there. Let's just do this right here and reset. Oh, I know, Johnny. Oh, I know. I know you do. Excuse me, Mr. Great One. Where are you, sir? Show up, please. They keep making good decisions. <laughs> hey, that's, 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 that's the way, man. Hey, Nathan, how's it going, dude? Hope you're doing good. You made it just in time to see us not get the great one and find a bunch of level fours instead. Though you did miss three diamonds. Yesterday we had six trolls in four hours, which is honestly pretty absurd for non-herd management grinding. And today we've had three diamonds and a couple level fours that were just short of diamond. Or actually, I think it was one troll and then one four that was short of diamond. It's been nuts. Today has been going crazy. No great one though. We've been getting so many good moves, but no great one. At this point, I'm starting to believe they don't exist anymore. Like, where's the great one? 
We're at that point where it just feels like they don't exist. Gotcha, man. No worries. Oh, really, Johnny? Oh, gosh. Why? Why would they trade him to the Jets? As somebody who hates the Jets, why would they do that? I don't really watch football anymore, but when I, when I did, I hated the Jets and the Bills and loved the Patriots, so get wrecked Bills and Jets fans. Lol. <laughs> Where's our great one? I don't see him. He's not on Medved. No, he isn't. I like Rogers, Nathan. I don't mind him. I like that he's at least more truthful than a lot of people in the NFL. He at least says what he believes, right? Not even like talking about whether he's correct or not, but the fact that he will say what he wants to say, I respect that. I respect the fact that he'll say what he wants to say. Oh, hard shot. Oh my gosh. Oh, four for four. Let's go. That's the first time we've done that today. Four shots, four hard shots. We haven't done that all stream. Oh my gosh, that felt so good. <laughs> that was so satisfying to get four consecutive hard shots. I don't know who that is, Megatron. I don't really pay attention to the NFL nowadays. I just know the people that were still playing back in 2014 when I quit watching football. Oh, oh, I get that, Nathan. I, I, I guess I'm talking about more like just in general. I like how he just speaks his mind. I think regardless of whether or not you agree with somebody, like, it, it's very commendable to just speak what you what you believe instead of like, uh, I guess filtering yourself. I, uh, I respect the fact that he can speak his mind without worrying about the consequences. It's rare nowadays. It's rare to find somebody that speaks their mind a hundred percent, which is why I try to always speak my mind a hundred percent. I don't know, Ben. I mean, I don't know who that is, but you know, I don't know, man. Huh? <laughs> I have no idea, dude. <laughs> Where's all of these mooshies? There's a moosh. It's a moosh over there. Here he is. Woo! For those just joining and thinking Crow's acting weird, couple drinks in. Just gonna, just gonna tell you, a couple drinks in right now. Having fun. Feeling good. Moose going down. Getting smoked. They don't stand a chance. That great one isn't showing up, but it's okay. We're still having fun. And I hope you guys are having fun as well. Oh, I'm past that, Bentley. <laughs> past that. I'm uh, not sure about him, Tyson. Um, I haven't watched uh, football in like nine years. I haven't watched football in like nine years. So everybody that I know is people that played in 2014 or before. That's the only football players I know of. I mean, obviously, I've heard of people like Patrick Mahomes because he's pretty big nowadays and I see everybody talking about him. Sorry, Emerson, not going to work on me. Can't trick me. I may be a few drinks in, but I'm probably most the most aware person a few drinks in that you could ever meet. I know for a fact when you're lying. We might need to do a quick main menu here. If a great one turns up, Crow will see too. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. That was, that was just so hilarious that I I, I, I choked a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh. What am I drinking? Um, I started with a glass of red wine. And then right now I'm finishing off 
a uh, a mixed drink of cherry Smirnoff and vanilla Coke. <laughs> I'm sorry, Johnny. This, I can't help it. Sometimes this stuff is so funny to me. <laughs> Guessing three at this point, probably Nathan. Probably. You're not wrong. I mean, I can see it happening. I'm just happy that like this has been an amazing fun stream. That's the only thing I care about right now. This has been an awesome stream. I've had so much fun hunting the moose. And uh, sharing every moment with you guys. It's been awesome. Oh yeah, one hunting, definitely. I to be honest, like a lot of people hate on the Smirnoff, right? I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. The flavored ones at least. It has to be flavored to be like tolerable. I, I could see maybe the hate like on straight Smirnoff, but like cherry Smirnoff is pretty fire. Not gonna lie. I could drink that stuff straight all day. But like when you mix it with like vanilla Coca-Cola, oh my gosh, it's so good. Same with like a Dr. Pepper cream soda. If you mix it with that, fire. Tastes so good. Um, be good kids. Don't, don't drink. Gotta add that at the end. Gotta, gotta cover all the bases here. <laughs> Hunter 11, thank you for the super chat, dude. If Pro does not get a great one at the end of the stream, he has to drink the whole bottle. Honestly, that wouldn't be too hard. There's only like a quarter bottle left, so I'd do it. I'd do it. <laughs> and who knows? Maybe we'll even do like a bonus stream and I'll try to get people like uh, Brobra and Caitlin and Johnny into the action. Um, if my wife's uh, not busy taking care of Leah, maybe I could get her into it as well. We could do like a, a multiplayer, like a... Uh, stream at the end maybe I've been wanting to do that for a while just hard to organize no it's fine Bentley believe me I know my limits I I know my limits as somebody who has had like um alcoholism in the in the family I, I know when to stop, believe me. I've been I've I've taken extra extra care and time into making sure that I know my limits. I never go too far, I promise you. I'm very like a uh, paranoid and careful about that. Uh, no, it's not Leah, Darth. It's Aaliyah, like A L I Y A H, like Aaliyah. Come on, Mr. Moose. Can you ever, like, look at me? Look at me when I'm talking to you, level three. You suck. You're only a level three, nerd. Maybe he'll actually look at me now that I trash talked him. Hey, he did. It worked. I mean, just trash talk your moose and then they'll look at you guys. Easy. Thank you, Darth. Yeah, me and my wife, we, we talked quite a bit about the uh, name to give her when uh, when we found out that she was pregnant, right? And uh, There was a lot of names that we were going through and Aaliyah was like the name that we could both agree on. So that's what we did. Very true, Jacob. It doesn't matter if you're a small moose or a big moose. The important thing is that you're a moose. I agree. Oh, I won't, Bentley. I've been way further than this right now, and I did fine with it. To be honest, I'm convinced that you can train your body not to vomit. Like, uh, I, I've, I've actually, like, been to a point where, like, I was about to, and, like, I was able to stop it. Just by like, uh, I guess thinking it into existence. If you're if you're persistent enough, you can stop yourself from throwing up. Because I've had a few times where I was like, um, I've I've dealt with like extreme anxiety pretty much my whole life, and as you can imagine, like nausea and stuff like that is a, a big symptom of anxiety. And I, I've dealt with that a lot, and I've been able to hold it back. So. For the most part, I, I I can just I can literally stop myself from doing it, which I I don't think is very common. I think it's kind of rare that you're able to do that. 
And so I'm very thankful that I'm able to because I, I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Jeez, Connor, not even spelling Johnny right. I'm kidding, by the way. Only 20 minutes from four hour stream. Come on now. Hey, I got you, Megatron. Don't worry. We're making it a four hour stream. I'm having a lot of fun here. I am really enjoying this grind. To be honest, like, uh, I, I really enjoy the moose grind whenever we've done it. I think the moose grind and the whitetail grind are the two types of, uh, Call of the Wild where I'm able to stream for a really long time and not get bored. It's just so much fun. Oh, we're definitely past 3k kills now, uh, games with Bree. We're definitely past 3k. How long have we been streaming, guys? Um, you said 20 minutes till 4 hours, so like 3 hours and 40 minutes? That would be... We're at like 200 since we started. We're at like 3,100 kills and no great one. <laughs> like 3,100 kills into the grind. That's crazy. Given we did take a little bit of time to relocate some of our tents. So I'm going to eliminate those 40 minutes worth of kills, which would have been like 40 kills if we were hunting normally. So yeah, I'd say we've killed about 200 instead of 240. So yeah. If we add 200 to my kill count, that will be 3,090. We're at roughly 3,090 kills. Oh, believe me, Jackson, I'd be doing it right now if I could. It's just hard to find time for real life hunting with a toddler. It's between like having a toddler and doing full-time YouTube content. It's tough to find time to do like a uh, IRL hunting. Oh, I'm already there, Connor. I'm already there. <laughs> I'm already there. <laughs> yeah, just give her a piggyback ride, Nathan. <laughs> Got your first Mellow Whitetail. Nice. Uh, everything BC. Nice. Nice. Mellow Whitetail are pretty cool. Hola, Mr. Moose. Where are you? I don't see any male moose. Come on, Call of the Wild. Give me the big males. Uh, it'll be coming out at around 2.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time top shelf, which is uh, 5.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it's honestly not that far off. We'll be getting the update very soon. All right, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the stream right now. This has been a fun one, though. I got to say it's the most fun stream I've had in a couple of months. So I appreciate you all being here and making this stream amazing. Thank you all so much. We will be back tomorrow with a between 8 and 12 hour stream. It's going to be a very long one. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be incredible. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're hopefully going to get that great one tomorrow. I mean, 8 to 10, 8 to 12 hours is a very long time to be grinding great ones. So I think we'll get it. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Peace.